What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? We going? We going off the cuff? This is off the cuff. This is off the cuff. What's going on? I got a little bit of echo behind. I got a little bit of feedback with you. Are you? Are you? Are you on the Hammer Show? Or are you on your own page? Did you hit the right link? I'm on the right link. I'm on the Hammer Show. I'm on the Hammer Show. We ain't got no other page. You know what? Let me I back out. We gonna? I'm gonna back out. I'm yeah, there you out. go. I there think you we go. Had a, <laughs> I think we have a Hammer Show. I'm gonna, no, I think we are on the Hammer Show, man. Let me just check. Let me just check. Let me check right quick. We we had to jump on so quick. I think we, we are on the Hammer on. Show. Let me see here. Go double check. I know I'm on the Hammer Show because. Oh yeah, you're good. Hi. You're, oh you're good. man, we good, you're bro. Good. I know what I'm doing, man. I got the best ITs in the world, bro. We yeah. on the Big Hammer Show. What's going on? What's going on, Jimmy? So no, we, we had to put this together. So you know we got we got to get back with everybody and we got to let everybody know that we didn't drop the so, ball. No, we, we had to put this together. So you know we got we got to get uh -huh. back with everybody. And we, got we had we did we, what was that over there? Oh man, I got I got I got multiple stuff. I'm multitasking, homie. I, I just hey, don't you, do this. I'm, I'm just you, you, you uh, threw me for a, a lightning. <laughs> <lead today. laughs> hold on, hold on. Concentrate. So, you do you, bro. Go ahead. What's so, up? What's up? <laughs> so we had to get, we didn't really able, we, we were not able to get back with the viewers last night, but Postmaster over in Hawaii had some technical difficulties. Some things had to be worked out. Some things had to be switched around and changed. So we got him backstage. He's a boots on the ground over there. We wanted to get back with the viewers. We wanted to get back to where he could do the thing. The break in Hawaii is live. They're in the middle of a raffling process they got going on over there. Everything's looking good. There's a lot of guys, big time guys, legends over there in Hawaii. They're doing their thing, hanging out, and uh, you know they got it. They got it. They got it pretty much figured out now. So we're we're good. Uh, but what we got to do is we need to get on. We got it. We got a uh, number one son out of Idaho. He's gonna jump on here. I think he's up in the house with us too, right? He's up in the house, man. Number one son, okay. the fat man. You want me to bring him on? Yeah, the fat man. So before you bring him, so let me give the rundown. So he's down here on the sand pile, and uh, me and 413, we're going to hook up with him, and uh, we're going to do some 1012 in tomorrow with him. And uh, we actually, I just bumped him on the 21 right now. I was like, yo, bro. I was like, we're fixing to pop you on. He's like, hey, I'm right here. I'm right now. You know, so we're going to get him. <laughs> go ahead and get him up in here. We'll shoot the shit with him. We'll figure out what we're going to do. There he goes right there, everybody. <laughs> What's up, son? What's happening? What's going on? Number one son, everybody. What's going on, fat man? It's hot as hell on the sand pile. <laughs> you, you, you ain't in Idaho no more. <laughs> hell no. Hey, so how, do, how does him, how does him head, how do, what does them headphones got going on? Them's got, them, them, you're talking through the headphones on them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Damn, a big old, the boy got him a the boy got him a big cigar hanging out of his mouth. The boy, the boy, the boy. Well, it, it's it's little now. <laughs> it's about you know about six inches long. You know my wife thinks this is six inches. So, so so are we gonna are we gonna get one of those in a gift bag tomorrow or what? Man, I'll give you whatever you want, Jimmy. I got uh, I probably got three hundred cigars in the in the in the trunk of the rental car. Jesus! Wow! Wow! So. Uh, so what's up? Where? So what happened? So you know, this is all kind of crazy how we jumped on here, or whatever, with with the Hawaii situation. But we have to do whatever we have to do to support that. Uh, it's just last minute, you know, getting back and kind of getting, kind of playing catch up with all that. So I don't know if you did you catch last night's show? I did not. We've been here since Tuesday, and and shit's off the chain. I checked in for the first couple minutes, and I, I couldn't hear anything, and I was just like, I gotta go. Right, 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 right. So what's going on over there is, is Postmaster's boots on the ground. The Hawaii breaks live. They're in the middle of a raffle over there. We were actually going to turn the last night's show over to Postmaster, but some technical difficulties came up. Some stuff had to be switched around. So, boom, we're following back up with him today because they're like, it's a six-hour window gap between us in the state <coughs> and them over there. So yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a lot of hectic trying to play between you know, Zoom here and Zoom over there or whatever. But all is good. Uh, what do you got going on? How are we going to link up with you? Because we definitely want to catch up with you tomorrow. You tell me, man. Okay, so you're going to be you're going to be down around the Boynton area. So okay, so so four thirteen, we'll catch up later. He'll drive down. He'll get with me, and then me and him will come down, and we're going to get with you, and we'll uh, we'll mingle, and we'll figure everything yeah. out around lunchtime or something. Well, is lunchtime good to you? In the middle. 
okay, well, uh, okay, yeah, we can do that. We can meet, we can, yeah, but, yeah, I got a, I got a, I got a spot. I got a spot. We can all link up and we'll all, we'll all grab lunch or something. That's yes, sir. He'll, he'll catch up with me and then me and him will catch up with you. Be, be my pleasure, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, just bring the cigars. I don't smoke now. I don't smoke, but I want the cigars. I got to get something out of Idaho. <laughs> I got you, man. <laughs> maybe I could stop by. Maybe I could stop by the uh, uh, Tiggly Wiggly and find a uh, Idaho potato or something. An autograph. <laughs> yeah, what a boy drinking over there? Drinking orange juice? He got he got some mimosa. He got yeah. the good stuff. He got the good stuff over there. The mimosa. What it, what is that? Champagne. Hey, hey, my wife loves the mimosas, man. When you do it, I don't know if you do it, but she does it with little fruit. And does it in a in an ice cube, drops yeah, the buddy. champagne, the orange juice, and then use that ice cube with the fruit, and then uh, it's like a treat after you drink it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's awesome, man. That's a good drink, man. That's a good hey, drink for sure, man. Hey, so are you? Where you at? You in a you in like a, a club, a bar, hotel? Where you at? All right, I'll uh, I'll give you the walk around the corner. I'm around the corner, right? Just me. Okay. They're going to thank you a news reporter in there. <laughs> People have been going live all damn week. <laughs> this is the outside. Let me, show, let me show you the inside. Yeah, they yeah, you, 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 you got it going on. Yeah, man. Da downtown, beautiful Boynton Beach, Florida. Yeah, it's bad up, dude. I'm telling you, my friend owns a shop down here, and uh, he puts on the biggest uh, consumer cigar event in the state of Florida, maybe in wow. the country. Wow. And wow. So we flew in from Idaho on Tuesday. We're going to do our thing, and we fire on Tuesday. Yeah, that's guy that's crazy. So what what was the main what was the main if you can talk about it, what was the main point of you coming down to the sand pile? Was it vacation or was it business or what? Cigars, baby. Vacation. Vacation. How long are you gonna be down? So we flew in last Tuesday and I fly home uh, late Tuesday night. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I got a cousin. I got a cousin that's an architect contract just right around the corner. He stays right off of A one A right there. I don't know how close okay. you are to A1A, but I imagine you're pretty close. I'm not. I'm not a uh, Florida geography professional, so I couldn't tell you. <laughs> no, you're pretty. You're 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 pretty, you're pretty close. close. <laughs> I, I know the area pretty good. You're 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 pretty right around the corner. But so what's what what's going on, man? While we up on the show, you know, I mean, listen, we ain't gonna sit here and you know kill time or anything like that, and 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 make something out. It's basically we just wanted to grab you, jump on with you, touch base with you. Make sure we were good. Make sure we were hooked up, and and, and nothing was going to get twisted around and go south, you know. Because that's the last thing we want is a guy from Idaho, the big man, the fat man from Idaho, to put to put bad Rogers on us when he comes to the sand. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, hey, look at him. Look, he's shaking his head too. Look, he said, look, he's shaking his head. <laughs> I know, I know. We did not want I'd have this bitch on Tuesday, and I'd have been like, man, no. No swap weed, no Jimmy Smalley, no 413, no, you know, no, no, nobody. We coming hey, down. No radio operator on the sand pile want to come <laughs> down with a fat man. Yeah, we, we coming down. This, I can't tell you, I can't tell you, you're actually close, believe it or not, you're close to, uh, you're close to a lot of people. You're like right around the corner, you're, you're around the corner from Gage, you're around the corner from 229, Trouble. Trouble. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, you're around the corner from a lot of them dudes. Listen, I was gonna, I was gonna hit up, I was gonna hit up Tony. Maybe we should hit up Twelve Gauge and see if he wants to break bread with us tomorrow. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah. Well, after the I know, I know him and I know him and the Sweet Thing just celebrated. A, was it our anniversary? Yeah, yeah, their anniversary last yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, dude, I would love to put my hand in your hand. Now, here's the deal, Jimmy. Here's the deal. Here's the deal, Mister Daytona. All right. I don't want you to all to get pissed off if I try and buy dinner tomorrow. Man. Oh That's my god! Lunch. Come on, man. But we, but we the host, man. You coming to our state, bro? Come on, man. <laughs> Let's go get some steaks or something like that. 
It's seafood. on, it's on. Oh, I want seafood, man. All right, it's on. It's All on, right. man. Listen, just, don't I, get, I, I, just don't get mad. Don't get mad if I slip one in there on y'all. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. We, won't, we won't get mad. But, no, hey, listen, you know, that's what this game is about, man, is, is breaking bread, showing Absolutely. hospitality. Listen, we would have got up with you yesterday. You know what I'm saying? We started off doing this show on Saturdays. Then we went to Fridays, you know, with the producer and all that. We had to. So, But if we didn't have the show last night, we would have hung out with you last night because that would have been the most, you know, the, the perfect opportunity. But, uh, hey, it's better it's, if, if we do it on Sunday because that's just how it's going to happen. But we're going to make time for you. We're going to definitely we gonna make it happen. hands in your hand. Yeah, we're going to make it happen. And driving, driving ain't nothing but a thing, you know. So, Yes, sir. Uh, like two hours, something like that from you, and four thirteen is probably like three hours. But it ain't it ain't nothing but a thing. Cause hey, hey, you never know. Ain't none of us promised here tomorrow. So that's right. We got to get this while we can get it. Therefore, man, yes, the, the, the fat man's in town. Shoot, I'm driving. <laughs> yeah, the fat man. The fat man's in town. We're gonna go down there. We're gonna get the cigars. I don't even smoke, but I want the cigar. Okay, just so I can I can I can put the cigar. It'll be my lucky cigar right here on the, on the on the table. <laughs> Have a lucky cigar, you know, for the show. So, but what's up? Hey, Avery, you want you want to hear a story, Jimmy? Go ahead. Come on. So about I don't know about six months ago, my uh, my friend who is not a technician, you know, not a Super Bowl technician, you know, the the uh, the OG baby guy, bad guy uh, who shall remain <laughs> nameless in the Northwest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He calls me up. He says, "Hey, uh, I got a question." Yeah. He said, "Tracy really wants a Cuban cigar." I said, "Done, man. I got thousands of them. How many you want?" He said, "Oh no, no, no. Just send me one." So just pull something out. Send me a cigar. All right. All right. So I pull out a Monte Cristo number two. Mm. That the quintessential Cuban. Yeah. Throw it in a bag, send it up there, and I, I was like, whew. So I send it up there, and he's like, I said, did you get the cigar? He's like, yeah, I got the cigar. I said, so, uh, did Tracy smoke the cigar? What, what the hell is going on, man? Why are you asking for cigars, right? He's like, she's like, oh, I'm sorry. I might be a little intoxicated. Uh, it's okay. It's <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Oh, it's, just me. Okay. It's, just me. it's just me and you and Jimmy. That's it. Oh, you know? all, right. <laughs> all right. Yeah, this will be the lowest views you ever got because uh, the fat man is on the show. But listen here. Uh, he said, no, no, no. Tracy's, I think it was Tracy's dad or uncle or something used to smoke cigars and she loved the smell of them. And I'm like, so did she smoke the cigars? She said, he, uh, Pa said, no. She just pulled it out the bag, pushed it a little bit, puts it back in the bag. I'm like, <laughs> All right. Hey, you do you, bro. <laughs> that phone blowing one, up over here. One of these days, I'll have more than one big minister in Idaho. Well, you know, okay, so in Pow Talk, everybody sits around and everybody's talking about, you know, the, the, the moss and, 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 and going this direction and going that direction. Is that, is that the direction that you're headed? You're not going back to tube-type way, are you? So listen here, man. Here's the deal. Originally, I wanted to build 64 LD Moss. And, and you're going to get a little history lesson here. 64 of them bitches. Wow. 30,000 watt dead key. Because you can only dead key 500 watts per device, according to my uh, non technician technician. Right? But uh, just think about this 30,000 watt dead key. 100% modulated. We can get into the technical side of the other thing, but 30,000 times four is a grip of fucking watts. Well, yeah. So that's what I wanted. So I said, let's do this shit. He's like, all right. He called the, uh, the LD Moss guys, the uh, NXT. And they said, I think they told him 27,000 for just the transistors. Hmm. Jesus. And this was like, I don't know, seven, eight years ago. I was like, fuck that. Yeah, it's a lot of money. So I, yeah, so what I do, he's like, all right, let's go to your 15, because he said, you don't need no more than the 15, just do the 15. And I'm like, all right, let's do the 15. 
So he didn't have a 15. Well, he does, but he didn't, he didn't have one for me. So what we did was I called Switchblade, and I'm like, hey, I'm looking for a 15. He's like, I got one. But, uh, you know, it ain't 100%. Right. So I bought, I bought a 15 from Switchblade. $800 for the, for the two. I, I sent it to Prime. Prime sent it to Manny out in California. Yeah, man. Ma- Manny uh, tests the tube and he's like, it's 80%. Prime calls me up and says 80%. You got to get the shit rebuilt. All right. So we get it rebuilt. Right. We start acquiring parts and pieces, play transformers, tuners, vacuum relays, uh, filament transformers. You know, I, EPD took, I think, like four months to get me the Transformers. This is years ago, five or six years ago, right? Oh, yeah. So all that shit gets up there, and he, I mean, everybody saw the videos, right? He gets out there, he's like, I'm starting for our number one times 15. He's cutting out the damn trees and all this cool shit, doing this, all this cool shit. And all of a sudden, it was like, uh, I had to call him up, and I'm like, Prime, you got to stop. I'm like, what the fuck? Prime, you got to stop? So, I had to, uh, let's see, uh, at that time, she was a a four-year-old, my baby girl. The terrorist is what I call her. (laughs) And the terrorist went in my radio room. Oh, no. Yeah, because there's no lock on the door, man. It's just in my basement. She went in there and started doing the tone, tune in Tokyo, right, with all the knives and dives. And I didn't know what the hell was going on. I knew that there, skip on, flip on the Collins transmitter, Collins receiver, the baddest pair of 800s ever to bear on the Super Bowl. I keep that shit up and pow! Yeah, man. Jeez. I didn't understand what the fuck was going on because I'd run that box for a lot of years with no issues. No issues. And then after the fact, I started looking and I'm like, well, this shit ain't right. That shit ain't right. And I asked the baby girl, I'm like, did you go in the radio room? She's like, uh-uh. I said, are you sure? And she did this number. You already knew. Yeah. And I was like, all right. So I called Prime and I said, look, hey, Prime, we, we got to do something different, man. I can't have this high voltage in the radio room with the baby yeah. girl. Yeah. Right. So now, he's like, well, that's no problem. I can get rid of all that stuff. So he got rid of all that stuff. And I'm like, all right, I'm back to LD Moss. But I ain't going to do no goddamn $27,000 in transistors because now it's probably about 35000 in transistors. Yeah, the way everything went up, for sure. Right? Everything in, in five years, it's, it's gone crazy. So uh, what we're going to do is I think we're going to do 16 of them. And then he wanted the, uh, and I want iron. I don't want switchers. Yeah. Not on 16 transistors. So mm. he had to order iron for the EPD. It took six months. Yeah. So that's where we're at now, right? And I'm patient, man. We've been doing this thing for seven, eight years, and I don't give a shit. If I want to get out there and talk, I get out there and talk. I always want a two pill. Literally. A Palomar 225 wow. and that big ass game for six months, and I talked whenever I want, except for when my neighbor came out there. Yeah. You know, and I, I, I give the guy his props, right? He's two miles from me. If he wants to stop me from talking, all he's got to do is touch a microphone. Yeah. Right. Let me, so, let me, let me get you, let me get you to hang on. I want to update everybody because we're in the middle of two things. So, number one son out of Idaho is down here on the sand pile. He's 10, 12, and enjoying yourself we're going to catch up with him show some hospitality kick it have lunch tomorrow and that's what we just kind of talking about earlier for some of the guys uh uh, uh that just came in larry good evening to you man uh yeah i'll, I'll take care of that in, in just a minute but uh so what we're doing is last night postmaster is the boots on the ground in hawaii for us that really didn't go as planned as everybody knows if you do know uh that's six hour window gap from the states versus over there so they had some issues they're having a raffle the brakes going live right now bullet bob bbi a lot of guys doc uh what's doc, his adams. Name? Uh, doc adams yeah thank you uh doc adams is over there all those guys are over there in hawaii right now at that break 
So what oh, hold, on, hold, on, man, hold on. My 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 man Doc Adams, the guy who got me started on twenty seven oh two five is in Hawaii? Yes, sir. All right, so Postmaster, when you bring Postmaster on this bitch, you gotta bring Doc on because I'm gonna talk oh, some on. shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me see if I can bring Give me so, a second, let me see. Hold on. Let me see if I can get him. I know he's backstage. What's up, Postmaster? It's a little, he, he in a party over there. Can you hear me, Postmaster? Alright. I got you. It's loud. The back man, they partying in there. I gotta do it this way? Which way? Yeah, there Which you way go. I'm at him? That way? Right there. There you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go, Postmaster. You got to get in that microphone. Get in that microphone a little bit. Okay, is that better? That's better, yeah. Oh, uh oh, number one. Yeah, when you get Doc Adams, I'm going to put you backstage. When you get a hold of Doc Adams, give me a holler. Oh, there he is. Man. Big uh -oh. on the ground. He's going for a walk to get me Doc Adams. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll round up Doc Adams. So for the viewers, let me get back to the viewers and kind of let everybody right. know what's going on. So Fox Masters do on the ground in Hawaii. No. They're doing the break over there. They're just going to cover some stuff for you guys, for us here at the house as well. Kind of let that's us know loud. how their break's going. Now, 413, that's their second break? That's a second annual break, man. Yeah, I, I'm trying to pronounce it because I don't want to butcher the name, man. But uh, uh, them guys been supporting us. Uh, it's the second annual Get together to annual meet. Uh, let me get it right. It's uh, La Laupa Hoi Hoi, uh, Hawaii okay. Beach uh, okay. Beach Park, and uh, okay. they say you got a, over a hundred, a good turnout over there, man. Hawaiian Punch and Mod Squad, BBIs over there, Doc Adams, a whole bunch of them. So I'm gonna leave this right here. In the meantime, so you can see the band playing. I, I believe that's Hawaiian Punch and a couple guys over there. And uh, okay. Postmaster has different angles of you know of the break over there. Of the get together, hold on. different. Uh -huh. Hold on, shoot that, shoot that back. Hawaiian punch. You mean pineapple juice? Yeah, pineapple juice. He should be. He should, I think go. he's the one playing. I think he's playing yeah, the guitar yeah, yeah. over there. Yeah, that's right, man. Pineapple juice. Pineapple yeah. juice right there. Yep, yep. So there's a whole bunch of guys over there. So what we're planning on doing, uh, uh, being at Postmasters, uh, you know, our boots over there. He's gonna. They they had a raffle, so they're gonna get uh, in a little while when we when we when when we're done talking to you and you stand by or whatever. They're gonna have everybody line up and give a quick uh, a roll call. So everybody's just gonna come in front of the camera real quick and say their handle and where what island they're from. So it might take a while because there's a lot of people over there. So we're just gonna give everybody an opportunity to kind of see who put the face behind the microphone. Right. And so it was basically just like we wanted to jump on because he was he was ready to go. We wanted to, who wanted to view it, who wanted to be a part of it, obviously they're here. So we wanted to just create a platform, make it possible to where he could have his, his thing going and show the Hawaiian guys and then do the roll call and do the pass through and then put a kind of number with a, with a face and a name with a face type meet and greet deal. So, you know, hey son, you was already there. We was going to talk on the phone. So I just like, well, shit, let's grab son and we'll snatch son on live. You know? <laughs> we'll figure this shit out on the fly. You know, hey, four four five said, "What's up?" He said, "My minister brother, uh, Tony Montana's in the house." He said, "What's up, uh, man?" There's a whole bunch of people joining us. Uh, Forty two five out of out of Ohio's up in here. Hey, man. Uh, Doc Adams in the house. Doc, there he goes. Hold on, let me let me get him on. Hold on, hold on. Let me get the get the audio on. Let me see. Hey, this this is all you. This is all you, fat man. I'm gonna put him on right now. Hold on. Hey, postmaster, can you hear us? I can hear you, but I'm going to have to pass the headphones over to Doc Adams. And okay. The over to Doc Adams. okay. Oh, you got it. Appreciate it. That's perfect sound right there. Right. So, whack them however you want to put them. They're quite good. They're quite clear. Go ahead, Jimmy. You hear the voice? Hey, man. <laughs> I'm watching the show, too. You know, I'm like a spectator. <laughs> hey, I'm a spectator today. This ain't the, this ain't the podcast. This is the broadcast. <laughs> What's going on, Doc? What's, hey, hey, Doc, what's going on? You good? Let me let me ease up in here. <laughs> yeah, 410. That's right. That it, these guys got this carpet stretched out so wide 
so bright red, I should be wearing my sunglasses so my eyes don't come out bloodshot. <laughs> <laughs> they, they've they've yep. got to lay down good, man. I'm telling That's you. That's awesome. We're having That's a good awesome. time. You're enjoying yourself over there? A lot of guys I've talked to for the last 35 years, a couple, two or three of them I haven't never met, but I've met them since I've been here wow. 30, 30 some years ago. Wow. Well, so. you, hey, you, you know, we got, we, hey, we got a lot of people, man. They, they, they probably sitting there and they're shitting their pants. They're like docs on the show, you know, hey, we just jumped on here, man, to kind of cover Postmaster and all that. You know, we had no idea. A lot of stuff we just, hey, Doc, we do by, you know, just, it's just on the fly move, you know, and a lot, a lot of this isn't planned out, but glad you could be at that break and, and now you're being a part of this show with us and, and sharing what you got going on over there. Well, I'll tell you what, it's, it's happening here. The food is great. The, hos the hospitality is great. And there's a... Do, do you, hey Doc? Do you know this guy, number one son, over here on the other on the other screen next to you? Do you know him? Are you talking about Fat Man? Oh yeah, you know him. Hey, where's I don't see Sean. Where's he at? He's right there. He hide. He probably underneath his bed, man. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. How many? Hey, don't don't talk no shit because I'm gonna ask how many times you told the four pill story while you're in Hawaii. Don't fuck. <laughs> I got a good video gate. I need to send it to Jimmy Swagger. Oh, yeah. Play the Play the gate, Doc. Play the gate. That man right there is just, Listen, Doc, Doc is responsible for me being on the Super Bowl. That man right there is responsible for me being on the Super Bowl on the base station. No shit. I had him be on. And I threw that shit in the trash. I threw it in the lake, but we don't have no lake in Idaho, so I threw that shit in the lake. <laughs> Shot it with a 44 Magnum, and Doc put me on the Super Bowl, man. Nice. Every time I went to Doc's house, it was like, oh, Doc, I owe you another thousand, another thousand. No. <laughs> Doc, Doc been made a living off my ass for about five years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. Doc, you hear that, what he's saying? I hear that. He's not the only one that's running my old leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's it feel? How's it feel to get your ass with by your old leftovers? Well, you know, I've given enough of them. I know how to take one. I know you do, brother. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. <laughs> and you, can you hear Doc real good? Four thirteen. I can't. Hear yeah, yeah. Hey, Doc, if you can, get in the microphone a little bit because we got a lot of that music in the background. Yeah, just get into the mic. All right, let me crawl up on Beautiful. That. Beautiful right there. There you go. Now we got you. <laughs> right on. Doc, I'm, I'm all the way out. I'm all the way out of Florida. I'm, I'm right down the street from Julio 413. If I wasn't in Florida, I'd be sitting next to you and we'd be sipping cocktails and smoking cigars. Because Doc smokes cigars. Oh, he's a cigar connoisseur too. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. That's yeah, awesome. That's Postmaster, where where are they at? Are they still doing the raffle, or what, what's 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 happening over there now? They're in the middle of it. They're done. The raffle's done. Oh, Your music. Done with the raffle. The raffle is done. Awesome, you awesome. With, you've been hang, hey, hey Doc, you've been hanging out with Bullet Bob and them boys, or what? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Bullet Bob, Luke. Uh, Showdown, Mod Squad. Well, then the boys right there. Yeah. A bunch of them. A bunch of them. <clears throat> wow. This is uh, a so, gathering. It sounds like sounds like a great gathering. Sounds like a sounds like a great gathering, man. Uh, when did you arrive over there? I came over here Wednesday. <clears throat> oh, so so it's a whole week thing, because I know guys. A lot of guys went to the main island, then flew back into that island. Correct. Oh man, that's some good stuff right there. You see that fat man? You gotta get somebody in Florida, like Jimmy, to give you the keys to his house and his car too. You see that? That's all right, man. I, I, I'll stay in the hotel and get a rental car. <laughs> I don't want to be no inconvenience to anybody. Oh man, nah, there's never an inconvenience, brother. 
never convinced. But uh, hey, Doc, Doc, I know you was off the bed for a while. I heard you the other day. You come back, huh? Yeah, I came back here probably about three months ago. I put up another flat side. Nice, nice. Pulling out some of the junk and trying to make it work again. Nice, nice, nice. Hey, I heard you out there the other day. I says that Doc Adams from back in the day. So I'm, I'm glad I was able to hear you again, and uh, welcome back to the band, man. Right on. Well, I appreciate that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You one of the, one of the, one of the old school premier guys, man. Look, you even put you you even put uh, um the fat man on. So that's a little tidbit of history I didn't know about. <laughs> right. Well, there's there's a few others you'll learn about them. Master, mm, Master, Master Mitch is coming up in the world. He's going to be somebody you guys I know <laughs> before too long. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I believe I heard Master Mitch not too long ago. He also as well. I believe he's been out there. Yeah, he's been out there yeah. too. Yeah, man. Jimmy, you good? Yeah, I'm good. I had a couple of issues I had to work out. I'm good. <coughs> okay, okay, okay. So, let me, real quick, not to interrupt anybody, I was checking some stuff. Son, if, hey, check your, check your audio on your headset and, and maybe bring it down just a touch on the mic. Oh, I just need to talk quieter. What do you say? I didn't hear you. No, he's loud. You're gonna have to talk a little bit, a little bit more. A little, a little bit louder. No, no, a little lower. You're loud, oh. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's not the radio, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Doc. I'm glad you said it. <laughs> maybe, I, maybe if I cover my mouth, does that help? No, you good. You good right there. No, you, you're, you're all right right there. I was just, I was scrolling back and I looked over there and they said they said uh, number one son's thing is loud. So it's I just a goddamn headphones, man. Yeah. I can't do about it. You got you got to you got to understand. He's in the club. He's in the club. They're all over the you know. They're, they're just enjoying. Look at Bullet Bob. There's BBI. All the guys enjoying themselves over there in Hawaii, man. Uh, just having a great time. Good to see them enjoying themselves. Number one son over there in Florida at a cigar convention. So I mean, it, it kind of it's it's a little bit loud, but man, it's good to be a part of it and just be a, be kind of like a fly on the wall and see what these guys are doing. Since I I can't make it to Hawaii, I couldn't make it, and uh, and and with Sean over there and down in uh in Florida, see what he's doing. It's uh it, it's good to get that feeling of inclusiveness. You know what I mean? Like you're you're right there with the guys. Somebody yeah. just put up in the comment. They said I have a Doc six two two fifty B box. Oh. I wonder who that would be. Let me see. It's a, his name is Donnie Grinder. Donnie, put your handle on there so I know who you are. Donnie Grinder. His name is Donnie Grinder. Does that ring a bell? I think he's going to put his handle in here. I'll have him put his handle over here and we'll find out. Uh, I'm trying to find out where he got that box if he got it from me. Oh, it's Yo Yo in Maryland. Yo Yo in Maryland. Yeah, did you did you get it from him, Yo-Yo? Did you get it directly from him, or did you buy it from somebody? I got to wait for him to answer real quick. I think he's talking about a different Doc bill. Um, he yeah, he got to be. He's talking about Doc in Jersey. Connecticut. Connecticut, oh, yeah, you mean. Doc in Connecticut. Doc build up there. Yeah. Right. Might, might be. Might be. Or maybe he does. Maybe. Maybe. Everybody. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me grab the microphone for a couple minutes, man. All right. With all, with all the animosity out here on the Super Bowl and, and the radio and in life and in, in family and all that bullshit, it's good to see people come together and under, under one roof and, and celebrate, uh, celebrate the positive things. Like, you know what I mean? For sure. I don't care what you do. I don't care if you play Kiwi Winks. I don't care if you're a radio guy. I don't care if you smoke cigars. It's just real good to see everybody come together and, and celebrate the good things in life. Because Absolutely. Things ain't the best they've ever been, right? Absolutely, man. Absolutely, right. and that's the reason why we did this podcast is kind of bring every, everybody together and just have a good time. But just like anything else, you know, you're gonna get the guys that don't agree with you and. But it is what it is, you know what I mean? Whether it's in any sport, even your cigar connoisseur stuff, you know, there's going to be people that don't like what you like. So we just got to deal with it and just keep moving. Hey, we got, even if we break a leg, the show's still going to go on. Man, y'all, y'all kind of just got the most 10 8 shit on Facebook right now. I oh, appreciate it, man. We're just trying to show some love, man. That's all. But uh, yeah, man, getting back to Doc, uh, real quick, Doc Adams, uh, 
Yo, what's, your, what's your plan coming back on the band? You gonna build something real big, or are you just gonna come, uh, just come in smooth? No, I'm gonna come in smooth. I, I, I'm a has been. You know what they say about a has been? It's better to be a has been than never was or ever will be. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like that. One, one of my favorite fives of all on Doc, with, you know, always was, who the hell got him out of his goddamn retirement home and how many wheels on the wheelchair when he's rolling down the damn street? <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's some good stuff, man. But, uh, yeah, Jimmy, you got any questions, brother? Can we get this thing rolling? No, I'm just, I, I, I think I'm, I think I'm having an issue over here. I don't know what it is, but I'm not really hearing Doc. I'm not hearing Doc or I'm hearing number one son real good at all. So I, just, I, was kind I of hear him. It's just a lot of background noise. I, I got to focus. It's, but where Doc is at, I can hear the music and everything, but I don't have a problem uh, uh, hearing him. Yeah. Yeah. I know I got, I got a lot of stuff that I wanted to ask Doc, but I just, I can't, I can't hardly hear him. So I don't know if it's just me or my end. So I just kind of just lean back. Yeah. Well, he's panning out. Uh, Postmaster's panning out. He's got several cameras set up for you guys that are watching at that uh, second annual break. So you get to see there goes uh, Juice over there, Pineapple Juice. And uh, a couple of guys playing some music. They had a raffle. And uh, like I said, we just try to get in here to be a fly on the wall. And in the interim, we got the fat man, number one son out of Idaho, to come join us and kind of kick it with us. And just a couple, just a couple guys just sitting around the round table and just kind of bullshitting and hanging out. So we appreciate you guys joining in. Yeah, one guy said, no, it ain't you. No, okay, okay, I'm just glad it ain't me because, no, I, 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 want, I, wanted, to, I wanted to ask Doc a couple questions. I really did. Doc's a legend, man. You know, Doc's yes, been around forever, you know, but I don't want to ask him a question and then not hear what he's got to say because I, I won't be able to keep the conversation moving. So I, I'm just kind of sitting here and I'm just bobbing my head, you know, going with the flow, but yeah. Let the viewers see what's going on over there. Shoot the shit with number one son. We knew son was where he was. No big deal. And just let these viewers kind of get a peep of what's going on over there in Hawaii and kind of just let it ride like that. Uh, boots on the ground. You know, our main guy over there, uh, Postmaster, he's doing a great job. It was basically just to give him a, 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 a platform and let him be able to do his thing, you know, and, and show the viewers and show what we had pretty much talked about last night that was not able to take place because of, you know, some small. Hey, uh, hey, where, else, where, where else are you going to get to see BBI doing a, 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 a Hawaiian dance? <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. Where else are you going to get to see that? <laughs> they, go, they go, who's that? Let me see. They got the cameras over there. I mean, uh, uh, Postmaster's over there with four or five different cameras. He's uh, he's over there with Doc. Doc, you still on? Let me see if he can pan in. They probably took his headphones off already. What I'm going to do is, fellas, I'm going to put them on mute right now. Because it is a little bit loud. There you go. So if he comes back, if he comes back, I'll get back to him. But as 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 it, it's a little difficult because, you know, when you're in a place where there's a lot of music and a lot of noise... It kind of takes away from the concentration. It kind of a little rough, but when our postmaster comes back on, I'll, I'll bring him back on. But in the meantime, we'll be able to see what's going on on his camera. But uh, yeah, getting back to you, uh, number one son, man. We're glad to have you on. Uh, spur of the moment. I said uh, when I asked to Jimmy, I said Jimmy, he's just gonna come on spontaneously, and, and we made a made a little little joke there. But I ain't even gonna repeat it. But it was it, it was a funny joke <laughs> about doing some spontaneous like. Hey, A413, I'm 42 years old. I don't do nothing spontaneous anymore. <laughs> no, you're, well, it is what it is. We're talking, about, we're talking about having sex, man. Shit. I don't give a shit. Yeah, I've been away from my wife since Tuesday. I need to be careful, man. I'm not hunching in cars and shit no more, man. I'm too old to be hunching in cars. <laughs> you know what I mean? I ain't hey, yeah, no there ain't man. no back going on. Hey, uh, hey, I'm going to tell you guys real quick. Hold on, I my, got... phone, my phone is in the red, so if I drop out, it's because my phone died. That 410? Okay, okay. Get, get it charged up now. Come on. Hold man. on, let me get Doc. Doc's trying to get some more stuff. Hold on. Let me get Doc on. Yeah. 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 It's hard for me to keep up with you guys. I understand. I understand, man. We just we're just glad to be able to hang out with you. That's all. 
I think that mic he's got to talk yeah. sideways into it. Yeah. Maybe there's some other time I can get back on your show. <laughs> we'll oh, yeah. We left oh, oh, absolutely. Oh, We'd love that. Was that a goddamn eclipse or was that BBI standing in the goddamn <laughs> camera? God damn. That boy's put on some weight. Hey. <laughs> Hey, where, where is it? Hey, hold on, maybe I need to switch handles. What'd you go, what'd you go call yourself? <laughs> now you're the skinny man now. You're the skinny man now. Don't call me, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep it clean. I'm going to keep it clean out of respect for the viewers and the host of the, the most. Hey, 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 you guys saved me. You guys saved me from this. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you would have been right there. You would have been right there dancing. Was, hey, Doc. Was, Doc, it's not too late. It's not too late, Doc. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go check her into bed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, hey, Doc, but when, it, when this is all said and done, we'd love to have you on and do it like a real good interview with you, man, because you're one of the legends, brother. And we'd love to have you back on and, uh, and get really deep with you. Yes, sir. Appreciate you coming on, and uh, we're gonna just sit here and uh, enjoy the show and be a fly on the wall. But we're definitely gonna have you back on. Right on. Appreciate it, Doc. Appreciate it. I love you guys. Show. Love you. Thank you, bro. Appreciate the support. Much love. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna I'm gonna put them on mute right here. It's uh, I'm I'm really I'm really like OCD and eight you know ADHD. So the noise. It kind of, I don't want, I want to give you guys a good product me, and I can't let, really let me, talk at the same give, time. Let me give you something to laugh at. We got a few dipshits that's sitting over here and they put some vulgar comments in the room. Oh yeah. They're, they're not, they're not smart enough to understand that the way everything is Skyping in, you're going to have technical breakups. You're going to have distortion. You're going to have stuff. You got, we, we've made ourselves fairly clear. You know, you got number one son that's sitting over there in the club and, and he just grabs some shit and a cigar out of the trunk to jump on with it. <laughs> People, people take this game so serious, man, and that's why it's just like ass hurt people. That that it just if you if you if you dig this shit, you dig it. If you don't dig it, turn this shit off and go hang out with your old lady or your kids and go swing them in a swing set somewhere and get the hell gone. But no, what people want to do is they want to tear people down and pull things apart. And I just ain't got no time for that damn shit, man. Tell you the truth, it's a lot, a lot of micromanaging, man. I mean. It is what it is, Jimmy. We the, the show. The, the show is still gonna go on no matter what. If they don't like it, they can just log out. Thing. Not a goddamn thing. Don't change I mean, I, I mean, I mean, look what we're watching. We're watching BBI. Who is that? Bullet Bob. And I can't see who the other person is dancing the luau in Hawaii. Where can you sit down and just kind of just watch that shit and bullshit and talk about it? You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, the audio quality ain't good. We, we it, it, they're in a party. They're in a they're in a freaking get together outside. You're in the cigar club. They're at a I mean, function, we, brother. We're doing the best we can, man. So hey, deal with it. If not, you know, come back uh, and watch it afterwards. Hey, Ain't no hey, big deal. Uh, I, I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna go grab my battery pack and uh, and a cocktail and another okay. cigar. Are you gonna be on? Yo, we're gonna be on. We're gonna be on. Right. We got we got All the guys right. in Hawaii still got to do a roll call. So or I'll put you backstage when you're ready. Just we'll give me a thumbs up. I'll be right back. I'm you got it. Bye -bye. You got it, brother. Yeah, let me get uh, Postmaster back on, man. There you go. Look at this. Look at this stuff Bullet right Bob. here. Bullet Bob ends up it's with all the shit from every break. He ends up with rocking chairs. He ends up with jewelry. <laughs> now, he he got co with now he got coconuts for his breasts. You see that? Yeah, he got yeah now he's got a whole damn neck full of coconuts. <laughs> Somebody said, who is that? Somebody said, tell BB how to raise up his skirt. <laughs> that, was, that was Showdown. Wasn't that Showdown? Isn't that Showdown? That's Showdown right there, right? Yeah, that showed out right there. Yes, sir. Right there in, uh, in the camouflage. Man, they're having a blast, man. We got we to gotta make a point to go out there, man. Uh, from yep. what Postmaster told me since he got there, I believe, Wednesday night or Thursday, he said nothing but the red carpet been laid out. They've been going to eat, just enjoying the fellowship and uh, and having a great time. And, and, and that's what it's about, man. That's what it's you know, about, man. Uh, absolutely. They share the love here. They share the love Exactly. That's what we were just touching on, man. Tell, tell us about a little bit on your journey, how you got there, and, uh, and how things are going, man. Man, my flight absolutely sucked ass, okay? <laughs> I, 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 I flew with Jetstar, which is like a, 
budget star. Budget star, right? Uh, but as soon as I got off the plane, Delta 19, who's sitting there in the corner playing guitar, he picked me up from the airport at like 6.30 in the morning. Wow. Um, he took me out for breakfast with his wife. Right, uh, just let me change camera. Sorry, guys. It's okay. Took me out for breakfast, right? Um, put on a feast. Took me back to his house. We had to go get Doc out from underneath the bed. But we're going to make it for this. They're going to make Doc do what these guys have done. <laughs> and they're going to make me do it too, but that's another story. Oh, yeah, guaranteed. Guaranteed, bro. Anyway, so, <laughs> Like, as soon as I got off the plane, it was just, um, go, 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 red carpet. Uh, turn up your audio a little bit. Post, turn up your audio a little bit. Get in the mic. One or the other. All right. Okay. Yeah, right there. Perfect. That's better. Yes, sir. And get in the mic. There you go. Right there. I got something for you. I got something for you. There goes Doc. There goes Doc. <laughs> Damn, yeah, no more sons missing it. He went to get his battery pack. He, he going to miss this now. Uh, so, so, got off the plane. Got picked up. Got taken uh, for breakfast. Got taken to um, uh, where I'm staying. Then I got picked up by Big Shot later on. Went out with Big Shot and uh, 1600 Nobody's Business for um, uh, lunch, dinner. And it's just been go, go, go. And, and lo like I said, no matter where I go, I came prepared with a wallet full, ready to spend money. They don't let me spend nothing. Wow. Uh, and, 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 and like, they take offense. Look, I went to try and slyly pay a bill. All right? and, and the girl, the waiter, the waitress, she turned around and she said to me, oh, no, it's already paid. I go, what wow. do you mean? Oh, yeah, he's paying. Come on, Big Red. So anywhere I can, I try to, you know, like, like we pulled up to a servo earlier and they went in to buy something. So I filled up the tank with gas and I went to pay for the gas and they go, oh, oh, bro, my fuel tank, it's full. What happened? Oh, I don't know, man. Someone came and filled it up and I just gave them money. You know, wow. it, it's just amazing, bro. The hospitality is tremendous. And, and, and it's not like I'm not rock star royalty, but these guys, a lot of these guys, I've been talking to for 30 plus years. All right, so, so yeah. where where the mainland has mainly been on the Super Bowl, Channel 11 has been big for Australia and Hawaii. Mm -hmm. right, so, so when the mainland starts to drop off, so when California starts to get that last bit of conditions, Australia and Hawaii, they're talking for another three hours, four hours. Yes. Yeah. I right, so I come here, I didn't expect what I got, and it's, like you said, um, uh, Daytona, red carpet treatment all the way. That's awesome, yeah, man. Get this on video for you guys. Them, them guys laid it out. on video. All right. I gotta so, get you. Oh, there you go. Doc, Doc's <laughs> having a hell of a time. <laughs> we got nobody's business on the very end. Oh, 1600, there you go, look at him. And we got... 5936 from Las Vegas in the middle. We got Showdown guiding him. There's Showdown. <laughs> He's the judge of the front light row. <laughs> no, nobody's business. <laughs> can you actually hear the music, guys? Yes. I can. Yes. I can. I can hear the music. So again, for everybody, this is just to let you know, you know, it's just to shine a light on what's going on in Hawaii for their second annual break. Looks like they're having a super great time over there. A lot of guys are from the States over there, you know, soaking the fun up with these guys, but these guys know how to party, man. These, yeah, man. These, go, these guys know how to entertain. These guys have luauts. These guys have cookouts. I, I, I just hope that maybe one day I can be fortunate enough to get over there and meet these guys. 
Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Look at look at the fun they're having, man. Just the smiles on their faces, man. Just to be able to, to fellowship like that. I mean, this is what it's all about. This is this is what the Super Bowl is. You know what I mean? When when you get together and fellowship. So what you get keyed on? So what if you key on somebody? At the end of the day, it's all about the fellowship, man. And, and I'm loving everything I'm watching right here. Yeah, it's, it's clean, it's hospitality, it's good hospitality, it's good fun, it's all for the hobby, it's all for the game, you know, no drama, no negative, no negative bullshit, it's just, it's just real, it's just real radio family. Yeah, come on. I've got to say one more thing there, boys. Sure. The spread, the food that's been put on, all right, <laughs> and, and, and don't get me wrong, like, Again, same deal. They don't expect nothing for it. Like, like this is all from my heart. It, uh, I was on the plane, and people were bringing food from other islands. Wow. You know, wow. like, like oh. it's full on. And like, if I could show you the table where the food, there's that much food here. I was here last night. There was that much food here then. This is going to be going on until I'm guessing two or three in the morning. So, so what? What? What's out of all that food? All right, I know there's probably some stuff we never heard about. What's what's the favorite dish you got you put together? I know you got to have some favorites over there. I haven't eaten yet. You haven't eaten yet. But as soon as I got here, you set it up. Busy hooking everything up, and now I've got to go on and and yeah, I'm 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 really I'm the equivalent of Applejack to you here in Hawaii. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm your, I'm your Applejack correspondent right down here in Hawaii. <laughs> yeah, you, you have boots on the ground. I like that. My down under correspondent. I like that. It fits you well, man. I appreciate it. Hey, and by the way, I want to take the time to thank you for doing all you do, man, because without you being the boots on the ground and, you know, lugging your cameras and microphones and stuff like that, we would never have a glimpse of what's going on. Only hearsay of what's going on. So for that, we thank you, man. For real. Appreciate it. The Big Hammer Show. This was more to get. Uh, I, I try to sell to people the idea. You want to go on a vacation, man? When these guys are running a break, come for a vacation. This is where it's at. Like, like, like in Melbourne where I live, right? People will go vacation overseas, and then I sit there telling them, you, you know, we've got beautiful beaches that you can go to here that are so close. Yeah. I know Hawaii's across the ocean for you but hey it's one of your states there guys and when these guys put on a break well and truly worth it for you guys to travel down here and enjoy exactly what everyone's enjoying here absolutely absolutely so everybody that's watching or listening man uh, uh do they have this every year or is it a bi-year thing is it every year thing it's a yearly thing all right as, as i said this is the second annual okay I think we're going to do it out here. It's the second time it's happened in this particular location. I heard rumor that they're planning on making it so each island will, will host. Represent. Oh, wow. That's yeah, cool. All right. So, so possibly next year is going to be Oahu, where Honolulu is. I don't know. The following year, I believe it's going to be either Maui, Molokai, or Kauai. So... You know, like each year it's going to be on a different island. That's that's the plans they're, they're planning on doing. But I've got some guy here that, that I'm sure a few of you guys would want to have a chat to. Sure, hey, sure. Down. Get him up, bring him up. This side, bro. Come on this side. Hey, hey real quick, uh, Prime want to know if Kawiki, Kawiki's there. Weeks did make it. He didn't make it? Okay. He's, no, he did. He's here. No, he, he made did? it. Oh, he didn't make it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, he didn't tell him, but he made it. All right, I, I, I got, I got one of the big boys. Oh yeah, the big boys. One of the big one boys. Of the big hammers. One of the <laughs> operators on the Big Island. All right. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm gonna have to give him the headphones. I'm gonna have to give him the microphone, and you guys can talk with him. Yeah. You got it. You got it. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, okay. Pass it on. You can bring your beer if you like. You can bring your drink. But uh, we like everybody out here. Everybody on the radio. Big ass microphone. There we go. There, there it is right there. What's is your brother? What I need. What I need. Damn. <laughs> Good Lord have mercy. 
Put one of them, put one of them on the base, and boy, you're going to have it made. I heard that idea. I hope I sound good on this, Cal Mega. Yeah. You sound good. What's going on, man? In, in, introduce yourself for all the viewers that's viewing you from, from, from the states over there. Well, they call me Showdown in uh, the, Bay I get, the Big Island. Um, they used to live in Honolulu. I resigned in the Big Island. And it'd be good, good to be on here. Hello. Yeah, well, welcome, man, welcome. I tell you, you know, listen, when, when we found out that, that Postmaster was willing to, to go over there and, you know, air and just do the best that he can, man, hey, listen, we, our hat's off to that guy, man, you know, yeah, man. For, for, for going and, and doing. And, hell, he didn't even take no clothes because he took so much luggage. He had his luggage. He had his all of his gear inside of his suitcases. So, you know, I mean, hats off to that guy, man. But good to have you on the show, and it looks like y'all are having a hell of a time, man. Oh, yes, yes, we are. You know, it's awesome. You know, 06 Postman, Bullet Bob, BBI, Doc Adams. And for all those who didn't make it, you know, um, I wish they were here. I mean, we got over 200, about 200 people here. You wow. Know, they're, still, they're still coming in. Wow. Oh, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. Hey, you sound just like you sound on the radio, man. <laughs> hey, all right, man. Well, then you know that I ain't, I ain't um, what they call that. I don't need equipment to make it. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Speaking of equipment, well, the one-on-one doctor, he said he shipped your radio out today. He's, uh, he's, in, he's in the comments. He said uh, he shipped out a radio, your radio today, so it should be coming real soon. Oh, I'm very excited, man, uh, you know. Yeah, that's uh. He's awesome. He's awesome. Oh, he's a great guy, uh, FT FT one on one uh, doctor, uh, Mr. Bam out of Florida, man. Uh, just give a quick shout out. Does amazing work on these Jesus, man. And uh, uh, yeah, like he said, he put in the comments, Mr. Paul Harrell, um, just uh, uh, did an amazing job on yours. The paint, the paint scheme, and everything. I, I got to see it. So it's a beautiful yeah. radio, and uh, hope you enjoy it on that end. But uh, yeah, man, good to have the big man showdown on the show, man. Uh, Awesome, man. Tell us a little about yourself, man. Uh, real quick, I know it's kind of a little bit noisy in there. Like, you know, just give me a quick rundown on how you got started radio real quick. And uh, I know it's, you don't have to give a, a whole detailed account, but a kind of a generalization on how you are and, and where you got to go up to this point in your CB hobby. Well, long story short. <laughs> long story short, man. Uh, can you all hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, long story short, man, um, I love the hobby. I, I love the different people. Um, you know, I started, I started listening to a gentleman called Mod Squad in, in Honolulu. And a uh, very good gentleman. And then, uh, you know, I wanted, I wanted what he had for those, you know, for the Rogers coming back and forth. And I said, so one day I want to do that, you know. It sounds exciting. But, um, okay, you know, in the front if you know what is. guys, we're going to interrupt you guys. Okay. Take us off the scene. We're going to do a big group photo. Okay. Okay. You heard me, yeah? I got you. I got you. I'm going to get back to you. Showdown. No going nowhere. We're going to get back to you. We're going we're gonna to get right back with you. Just right, hang tight. We'll, come back. we'll get right back to you. We ain't going to forget right. about you. All right. I'll see you guys real shortly. All right. We'll come back. I'll, I'll let you know when we're back. All right. Bye. Okay. No problem. Yeah, man. man they yeah, lot, I mean, they got, they got a lot going on, man. They got a lot going on. I was going to tell them D-Rail shouted them out, but, you know, they had to, they got to do what they got to do, man. They, they had a function, and I'm just, I'm just thankful that they took the time just to take a few moments to talk to us. Uh, I believe after the music and the photo, they're going to, we're going to end the show. The wind down, maybe. The wind down, and what we're going to wind up doing, hopefully, um, they're going to get everybody kind of to get in front of the camera one by one and kind of introduce themselves so uh, our viewers can see the face that behind the, the microphone that's that's that the, plan, the plan but you know plans change man um, they're, they're having oh, yeah. a break and, and the last thing they probably want to know want to do is uh get in front of a computer and talk to somebody so that being with that being said I'm, I'm i'm just excited that they took a little bit of time to talk to us and right. give us a glimpse of what's going on so i'm very thankful for that right put a put a apb out for for the fat man the fat man i don't know what happened to uh, the fat man fat man it, dipped out of here he went. I told, he, I, told, I told the fat man to turn his damn mic down. <laughs> yeah. he, he said, "I'm gonna get my battery pack in a mimosa." He disappeared. He gone. 
<laughs> he went to go. He went to go buy him some Apple earpods. That's what he went to go get him. <laughs> no, no, in his eyes, that's exactly probably what he did. <laughs> he said, "Man, I'm on that damn show. I'm, I'm like a duck on that damn show. I got to get up off these damn RCA headphones." He's he's gonna, he's gonna go buy a monitor and a whole nine. And, and you now I'm ten eight. There you go. <laughs> be back ten eight. You gonna come back with a lapel like 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 twelve in the valley told me I need with my ADHD ass. You know. <laughs> so, hey, but you know what, man? To get back with them guys, Showdown's a badass, man. Showdown got a, got a lot of talk game. Showdown, he brings a lot when he's out there, man. But sure. uh, with, the, with the competition, uh, I can say this about the competition. Hawaii is going to be in their own region, you know, and there's a lot of competitors in Hawaii. So, you know, those guys, they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna get a kick out of that. They'll enjoy that, you know, but uh, – it's just it's really great what postmasters doing but they said they had that the big picture coming up or whatever and i guess everybody's got to be counted for and the head's got to be there in that in that so it, it just is what it is this is just not scripted this is just on the fly this is just the coverage what was going on over there in, in hawaii at that second annual break so i mean you know it just is what it is there's nothing planned it's just how it rolls there we go there you go, there you go. With the, he come back with them, them RCA headphones. We, 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 with them RCAs. We thought, we thought you went AWOL. <laughs> Man, can y'all hear me? Yeah. Hell yeah, we can hear you. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, no, I had to reload my cigar. I had to reload my cocktail. God, I had to get my battery pack. God damn, y'all. Y'all make it tough on a man. <laughs> hey, but you, hey, hey, listen, we're hanging out with you tomorrow. You're hanging out with us now. We sitting up in here shooting this shit, man. Hey, it's the Fat Man show right now around the van. What I miss? Tell me what I miss. What did what, 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 what he say? He said, what did he miss? What did he miss? Oh, well, no, they're getting ready to do a picture over in Hawaii right now. So we were getting into a little talk with Showdown over there. But Postmaster... Ran and had to snatch him up and get him back to the to the head count for the main photo. So, but he'll probably be back in here in a little bit. You know, we just want to kind of kick it with him and ask him where he started and kind of how he got into radio a little bit. You know, just shoot the shit with him. Who are you talking about, Postmaster or Showdown? Showdown. Showdown. Man, that dude's got some devastating audio coming out of the islands. I can tell you that. Oh, for sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the camera up so we can see the background and see what's going on. But now now I'm, now I'm jealous because he got that fresh mimosa, and, and I ain't got and I ain't got nothing. I'm I'm empty. So give me about thirty seconds so I can refill real quick. I know you got your Mickey's over there. He got a mimosa, and I and I and I'm on empty. So I'll be right back in thirty seconds. All right, we'll hold it down. We, we might get in trouble, but we'll hold it down. Listen, man, listen, you know, look, we, we come in, what was it? Well, we said we were going to do it, we were going to have them in here live last night, and it didn't really work out. And we didn't come back, and we didn't update the viewers or nothing, because we thought it was going to come back, but it didn't come back. So we said, okay, we found out it was going to be today, because there's six hours behind There's the man right there. There's the showdown. There, there he is. Can you can you hear us now, showdown? No audio. I got no. I got no audio. No audio here either. There it is. Talking it now. Hold on, hold on. I got him on mute. Hold on. Okay. There you go. How about you go. He's good. It should be good. To Jimmy. Can you hear us now? Yes, I can. Okay, let's get right. We'll jump right back into it real quick. So we were asking you, tell us in a short version for the viewers, uh, just kind of where you got started in radio, and just run us up current to what you got going on right now as far as the Super Bowl. Well, of course, y'all know that I got a Yacy coming in. Um, I'm going to be running on a skinny boy. Um, I got a six element uh, stretch. Um, I'm waiting on a John DeLuna, um, a flat side coming in. And I uh, got myself a eight element quad, so I'm going to have both of the best worlds. The best and, um, you know, I got started in this all because of one gentleman, Mod Squad. Uh, you know, um, 
the big name out here, you know. To hear the type of talking he did, I wanted to do the talking he did, but in a different fashion. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I, I love his style, man, because he, he showed out one of the kind of guys that just, man, he just talks some good game, man. I, I like his, his talk game, man. He'll, he'll, cuss, he'll cuss your dog out in a second, though. I know that. <laughs> man, man, let, me, let me tell you, like, one day, one day, you know, we're, we're all real. A lot of people can't be real, but we're, we're real at the end of the day, right? I was reading the mail, and this guy had probably a one hour QSO man by himself. He was on a set mission. And he somebody had pissed him off. You remember this showdown where I'm going. Somebody had set him off, man, and he went out there and he made an example. And he cranked his stuff up, man, and he twisted it up. And I mean he had a blanket coming back into the States. And he was holding a hammer down out there talking cash, money, shit. If they didn't like it, they could do this. If they wanted it, they could do that. This is what it is. This is what it's not. You know, and I was just sitting there and I was reading the mail. And afterwards, I called him on the phone. I said, man, I said, brother, let me tell you something. I said, that was one of the baddest damn self-entertaining cues of conversations <laughs> that I had ever heard in my damn life on 27.025. You know, and he went to telling me, you know, how, you know, he got this away and, you know, and it happens. It happens. It happens. Sometimes we do come out of character and it needs to happen sometimes because too many people, they get to where, you know, their ego is so stretched in this game that they act like they can't be touched or they can't be reached out and grabbed, you know. So that's a bad dude right there, bro. And I'm going to tell you, that dude is real. And that dude keeps Radio 100, so that's my input on it. For sure, for sure. For hey, sure. Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. Now, let me put it on you like this. If you don't think you can be touched in this game, you're a stone-cold bitch. Woo! That's the truth. That's the truth. Hey, I'm going to drink to that right now. See, I'm, I'm refreshed. On that. <laughs> we we oh, going to salute that. everybody. <laughs> we go drink to that. <laughs> yeah, everybody drink to that. No, I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm serious. And you're, you're dead. You're nuts on. You're dead nuts on. I mean, because, and that's why, that's why I can jack with a dude like this right here on cam, man. Because those guys in Hawaii, I've always been favored to the guys in Hawaii because they keep it. They keep it 100. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the guys that's out of the states, believe it or not, a lot of guys in the states, you know. It's, it's been harder for those guys to, to make a present and be accepted. You know what I'm saying? So those guys had to be, they had to come harder. They had to bring more to the table than what the guys in the States had to bring. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So no, no, guys no, no. In, in, hey, Jimmy, here's what I'm going to tell you. Guys. I'm going to tell you about Showdown. When Showdown came that big-ass hammer up in Hawaii, I got to start cutting shit off and turning down and the best and all that shit because... I got that front itch on my house, my baby. <laughs> That's a badass audio, my brother. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank By the way, D-Rail shouted you out, too. He said he wanted me to tell you what's up. He's in the chat. He said, uh, give you a shout out. Oh, D-Rail said, what's up to you? Showdown. My man, D-Rail. Yeah, D-Rail, shout yeah. out to you, man. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of guys. I'm going to give a little uh, shout out. Yeah, we got uh, Primes in the house. We got Yellow Jackets up in the house, oh, man. Yeah. Uh, D Rail. No, no, no. One, two, three. Linwood's up in the house. That's a bad man coming out of the night. Oh, yes, sir, he another is. Guy, man. Another guy that shakes my speakers. I don't oh, give yeah. a goddamn about no goddamn prime minister because he ain't built my <laughs> shit yet. Oh, I got it. You, you keep talking like that, you ain't going to get shit built. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get with Yellow Jacket. I want to see if he'll build me like a 15 tuber Z Box. Hey, hold on. Y'all want to make this? You want to want to jump this shit to the next level? What's up? Hey, Showdown, can you do me a favor? Uh oh. Go ahead. When you get off this microphone, pass that shit to BBI. Let's get it on. <laughs> he done lost his damn mind. He ain't gonna come on. Hey, 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 show. It's all about you right now, show. Show, it's all about you, man. We we we'll get to him. <laughs> Fucking I, 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 got, I, got, I got the mall down now. You got the mall down. You got that yeah, hammer down right now. Come on, Jimmy. Come on. <laughs> I'm three. I'm three bottles of champagne. Let's go. Yeah. 
you need to back up three goddamn bottles is what you need to do. <laughs> you better tell him. You better tell him, show that. Back up three goddamn bottles. I heard that, man. You know, I'm going to say one thing. To all the technicians, to all the box builders, if it wasn't for their expertise, their knowledge, their broad imagination, we wouldn't be here today. This so hobby would not be, be anywhere where, this hobby would not be anywhere without anybody. I don't care if it's the goddamn AM Powers, the Donkey Stompers, the, uh, who's the dude out of Chicago uh, build the DC boxes? One, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, well, Danny's my boy, but now yeah. one, two, three, the, the black boxes with the fucking tape on the Carl shit. Bill. Carl Bill. No, not Carl. Carl, Carl's a badass motherfucker. Do uh, yeah. uh, Carl Bill is a bad man. Who, no, man, uh, I can't remember who it is. He puts the goddamn tape on the boxes. Uh, oh, Arlen? Yeah. You talking about Xbox, Arlen? No, not Arlen. The, the, the he puts the oh. tape on the cabinet. Come on, get in the oh. comments. Somebody help me out. Yeah. Take nine. You talking Take about nine? Take nine, baby. <laughs> One, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Look, skinny boy, ghost ride. I don't care. Look, man, if you don't do your research on the technician and you spend your money. Oh. Oh, wow. That's 307 built. That's a pretty box right there. Look, there's nice. so many people I don't know in the game wow. that are being in boxes. That's nice. Man, yeah, any of those guys, this hobby does not move forward because I'll tell you what, it just takes one guy to discover something new. Yeah. Let me let me ask you this showdown. Since you guys, you know, you guys have messed with DC stuff for years over there. Yes, yes, yes. Where are you guys at on the MOSFETs? Are, are, are you guys, are you are you venturing into that and trying to venture away from the tubes? Or what's, your, what's your topic on that? You know, to me, everything works. Each individual has to find themselves what they really want to use, what they really want to perfect, uh, perfect you know? Um, MOSFETs, it's here in the islands. Um, I think, um, I think uh, what's his name, 777 in Kauai got, uh, um, got one from Prime Minister or BBI, I'm not mistaken. You know, yeah. so it's, it's here. That, that's a different cat. Yeah, I know. He's <laughs> the most star cracker and Prime Minister is the man. Yeah, well, there's some MOSFETs from both both people. And um, I haven't run it. I haven't run it. I, li I like old school. I like old school. I put a beat down on old school. Yeah, but you 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 ran one of the biggest boxes over there in the islands. You what you what was the biggest you ran over there, two wise? Ten thousand Ghost Rider. Ten thousand Ghost Rider. Yeah. I remember you was on the three thousand. I know you was on the three thousand. Then you went to the ten thousand. Yeah. I have wings right in here. I tried, to, I tried. Hey, I tried to rent some airtime from weed, and he didn't return my goddamn call. <laughs> so right hey. Here I got some skinny boys. Um, you know, um, John boys, skinny boys. You know, um. There's some 629 builds out here. There's a lot of different boxes. Larry's a badass dude, too. Beautiful shout out, boxes. Shout out to 629. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Do, sure. do, you guys, do, you, do you guys have anybody over on the islands that is building uh, uh, base boxes and, and like 3,000s, 6,000s, 10,000s? No one here in the islands has that type of technology because here in the islands we like we want to perfect it if we can't perfect it why why try you know yeah. you only kill yourself you only hurt yourself you know we leave it up to the experts yeah, yeah. Here's, a, here's the other problem in the island do you think shit's expensive on the mainland go ahead and buy it on the island you, you. a three a three thousand for for eight grand it costs you fifteen twenty thousand on the island Wow. Yeah, uh, yeah. well, things get crazy, too, thousand. down in, yeah, in the South Island. Go ahead, show. Go ahead. For, uh, landed here in the islands, it's about eight grand. Land. Wow. And a 10,000, you figure that, baby. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was then. Everything went up since then. 
Yeah, God bless you guys, man, because you keep the hobby real. Thank yeah. you, thank you, thank you. By the way, by the way, Sean, uh, we said he's in here. I see him in the comments. Hey, T-Rail. There, there you go, Sean. Love you, my brothers. I'm going to do a shout-out real quick so I can uh, pass the microphone on. You know, I can stay on this. Hold on. Oh, we, de we definitely going to have you back on and get your whole full story, man. I know, I know it's... I, we appreciate you taking the time, bro, you know, to just sit with us and just give us a glimpse of what's going on at that break and, uh, and all the good times you're having and just give us a little snippet of your story because I know we could get deep with you. I know you were heavily involved in MMA and you were a karate champion and all that, but we'll get that. We, I, I'd love to have you back on the show and go in depth with you and, uh, and get to know the real showdown. Weed, I need to buy some airtime before I leave on Tuesday. I'm just saying. Weed, come on, man. Uh, Hit me up. You got me. Showdown, be blessed. Be blessed, bro. Take care. Thank you very much, Showdown. We're going to catch up with you. Oh, my man. All right. All right. <laughs> hey, hold on, man. Y'all don't know the cool change has been running a fat man radio for a long ass uh -huh. time. All right. Long ass time. Oh, we laughed. He put LOL. <laughs> hmm. My man. Cool, can you hear us? What's up, cool? <laughs> What's up, my brother? How you doing? Great to have you on, man. Appreciate you taking the time to kick it with us a few minutes man i know you guys got a lot of stuff going on and a lot of fellowship and for you to take a few minutes out to just kind of kick it with me the fat man and jimmy swagger man means a lot brother appreciate you hello fat man hello jimmy swagger yeah. i think well, cool talk, try to talk into the angle of the of the side of that microphone on the right side there. on the side right there, yeah right there. Try it. Nine, 90 degrees, baby. Put it right 90 there. degrees. Talk into it. Okay, Sean, right there? That's better. Okay, Sean. Sean? Tell Postmaster to turn your audio up a little bit. Just a little bit more. Turn it, tell him to turn it up just a tad bit. Hey, 13, I think it's just so... He's got that on noise canceling, and I think it's just so loud back there. Yeah, he's soft. Cool changes. He's soft-spoken, too, so... No, no, no. There you go. There you go. <laughs> hey, I didn't think you could hear me. I tried to slip that one through. <laughs> Bruh, you smoking, man. You smoking now, Jimmy. I mean, you smoking, Billy. <laughs> I got, hey, man, I'm drinking this IPA, man. It's 9.9, .9, so you got you to gotta forgive me. <laughs> oh, you, should see, you should see what they're drinking over here. Moonshine. Ooh. Made by zero one nine. Nice, nice, nice. I know, I know. Sean will be happy. <laughs> I, g I gave up drinking. I gave up drinking when I'm eight fifty years old. Wow, that's awesome, man. Fifty? You look like you're forty five, bro. Forty two. I'm gonna be fifty nine. Wow. Wow. wow God yeah, bless you, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna be fifty nine in uh, May. God bless you, brother. God bless you, man. Hey, hey, hey. Just for men. Just for men. <laughs> hey, 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 cool. Tell us, tell us a little bit about the environment there. What's, what's it like? What's the feeling like? What's the hospitality like going on at the break? Um, there's nothing like, like you'd ever know if you haven't been to Hawaii. The people here are we so connected, so close. I mean, a lot of us never did see each other. But um, we see each other on Facebook, and we feel like we're brothers all the way. Just like how I feel with Vinny, just like how I know Sean. I, I run, I run a, a nice radio made by brother Sean. I tell everybody I got a number one son, four pill bill. And I'm talking out there with a four pill radio right now, and I'm being heard all the way to the oh, East yeah. Coast, you know? Oh, yes, sir. Well, well you know... Um, I sit on the water. I sit on a place where I'm basically out on the bay on a drive. So wow. I got water all around me, under me. So yeah, that's what I do. But you know, later on, I'll, I'll probably put in my two by six uh, butt cutter or my 12 pill. I mean, but right now I'm only running a four pill there. Wow, wow, that water, that water is devastating. Go ahead, man. But that water is that water is devastating, man. If you get to a good spot, man, you don't need much. But uh, yeah, I hear you all the time, man. Coming down to the south side of Florida, man, it's sounding good. So, uh, man, I appreciate you taking the time, brother. Talk a little bit about yourself. How did you wind up getting in the radio? 
So, all my life, all my life, um, I grew up, my dad was a U.S. Marine in Korea. He was in Korea, and he used to play around with um, shortwave radios. So I used to listen to shortwave all over the States. I used to listen to shortwave, and um, so I was always interested in radio. But, uh, back in 1986, I got on the radio, started playing around with a little mud duck radio, and just having fun, and uh, from there I just... You know, I didn't have to run anything that big in Hawaii. That's what blew my mind. So, you know, that's that's how we always been doing it. Wow, wow, man. Yeah, I know, I know you've been hearing you a lot and uh 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 you using a fat man radio now, you say? Yep, yep, I run in number one sounds radio and I got people telling me you ain't running a four pill. I, I'm running a four pill right in the water, and I even show people. You know, I mean, they like look. They can come look. If not, I don't. I don't worry. It's all mother nature, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. You got a good sound to you too, man. I know. Uh, I hear you all the time in the evening time. We 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 in Florida. We usually hear Hawaii like in the late evening time, which uh, I know it's a six hour difference. So I usually hear you guys six seven o'clock p.m., which would be kind of like lunchtime on your time. So, um, but man, yeah, you got it going on, bro. Appreciate you. Uh, Stopping in, like I said, we, we uh, got Postmaster over there, and he uh, was gracious enough to set up his equipment and his microphone and give us just a little glimpse of the fellowship you guys got over there, and uh, we appreciate you uh, coming on the mic and just sharing with us, you know, the your the, story, the, your story and, and, and what's going on over there at the break, and uh, man, we just, we're so excited. I feel like a fly on the wall just watching everything, man. I wish I could be there, but uh, I'm definitely going to make it a point to try to get out there, man, that's for sure, after seeing that. Uh, uh, uh they're, they're part we, of the state so we can wait the third one yeah yeah that would be yeah. great why not yeah just come down man that'd be great man what you got jimmy no just hey listen listen i'm i'm kind of quiet i'm just laid back i'm i'm learning from these guys it's i just feel you know like the fly on the wall like you keep saying you know postmaster's floor you know, I'm just glad that they, that he was able to do and put that kind of work ethic into it, and just and willing to go over there and just do that and and, and caption all this hospitality, and and be a part of that, and then bring that part, you know, back to us to where we can put it on here and bring it to the viewers and just kind of share it, man. Just keep the love alive, keep the game alive, keep the hobby living, and 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 you know, just just show the love and the family and the support of 22 27.025. Yeah, right. Well, yeah, that's that's what it's all about. Family, Ohana. Oh, man, I got this showdown putting little things in front of me, you know. <laughs> I, know I, 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 I met showdown. I met showdown like back in 1987, man. Wow. I know showdown yeah. from way back. And uh, we've known each other this long and through our three, four cycles. Wow. But, uh, you know, we were we were off of the radio for quite a while in 1992. We got hit by a super big hurricane on the island I live, which is we call it the Garden now, with the northernmost island, and that shut us all down. But not for our radios, we wouldn't have got the help. The, the, wow. the repeaters wasn't working, and we talked to Honolulu, and we'll talk to the other islands, and people would help us out. But that's uh, what I love about radio. Uh, wow. We can communicate and, yeah, get all around, you know. I've, I've, Like I said, I've talked all around the world. Not only me, I don't want to speak for myself, but a lot of people I spoke all around the world. I remember that one day I was talking to you, and you was telling me I was hitting you like 30 dBs. Oh, yeah. That one day me and you was talking back and forth there. Um, 13. Yes, sir. Yes, I, sir. I you. Wait. Yeah. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Four thirteen can make the trip. I, I can. I can. I can barely make the trip. He heard me, Jimmy. He just barely heard me across the static. So, okay. but he was booming in Florida. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah no, no, you hey, 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 Jimmy. I want the this guy <laughs> laid my needle to the corner in my Fat Man radio, and he was Ooh. actually bleeding. The he was bleeding. The I mean, the six or the eleven, and I had to switch. And I looked. Oh, there was four thirteen. <laughs> I mean, he was smoking the days I talked to him. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. You guys want to... I love listening to you guys, man, coming from the islands, man. You, my squad, uh, man, all you guys coming out there, man, uh, just do a phenomenal job. And it ain't easy. What are what, what we, like, 6,000 miles away? It's, I mean, it's a it's a good trek, you know what I mean? We're in three different time zones, six hours away, behind, and and just to, to get... I get excited when I talk to you guys, man. So my hat's off to you, and, for, and, for, and to do it with what you got, you know, a four pill. I mean, we're, I'm throwing, doing a lot more than a four pill to be able to get back to you. But for to be able to hear you doing what you're doing and how you're doing it, man, my hat's off to you, brother. Yeah, I mean, 
If you imagine if you brought your station to Hawaii and put it on that, that place where I sit down on the water. On that water? I mean, Ooh, that water dangerous, water. man. That yeah, water I mean, dangerous. I got, I got some videos I put on Facebook of that my white Tahoe. Mm -hmm. I call I call it the hoe. I tell everybody <laughs> I'm I'm just cruising me in my hoe in the mini grass. You know? <laughs> I don't mean it to be, you know. Nah, nah, it's nah. It's all, all in the game. You know how I absolutely, talk. Absolutely, absolutely, bro. <laughs> it, 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 it's yeah. how, how people perceive it, man. I know what you're talking about. It's all good. Yeah, I, I just tell them I'm, I'm out just me and my hoe. It's a 1997 hoe. It's all steel. It's for real, and she ain't no bitch. That's what I tell them. <laughs> you, yeah. you got? Yeah. You, are you one of those? Are, hey, cool, are you one of those guys that put ground straps all over? Yeah, I mean, I do, but not all over the place. We used to, we used to hook up a, a big ground cable or a chain and throw it in the water and park right off the side of the, the pier. Uh, and yeah. What's up, brother? But you know, you, you know what? They tell, you, they tell you the truth. It's that number one son radio that's doing the trip. Wow. I've been number running it. I've been really full. Yeah, I, got, I was Sean, brother Sean. You the man. But you know what? Hey, Vinny. Thanks, my brother. Hey, Vinny, hey, I'm going to run, I'm hey, gonna uh, run hey, that. Go hey, ahead, Jimmy. Go ahead, Sean. Hey, Jimmy. Cool Chain's got a four-inch wide ground step running from his nuts to the pavement. <laughs> hey, but, hey you, know, you know what, man? Hey, listen, I'm telling you, man, for, hey, those guys, man, I've talked to Mod Squad. I've talked, I've talked to uh, quite a bit of them guys over there, man. Them guys, hey, they have their own way of doing things, okay? And, man, I'm telling you, things are different here in the States. Things are different in the islands over there. South Jamaica, everywhere you go and everywhere you talk, things are different. You know, these guys they have their own method, they have their own way of doing things. So, hey, my hat's off to you guys, man. All you guys are for 10 8. Give me a word. You guys love the game. You know, I know you're big com uh, competitive in the game. Uh, let me ask you a quick question. So, when the competition comes around and the region comes over there, you're going to be competing in the in the in the competition. You mean like a like key downs? Well, what we got so is is we we we're doing the competition here in the states right now, but we have twelve regions set up, and we're going to do twelve regions. And after the twelve regions, we determine the the, the winner, uh, the winners out of those twelve regions. It don't matter. So Hawaii is going to run in its own region, right? So yeah. out of those twelve regions, we're going to have twelve region winners, and then we'll determine a world boss out of those twelve region winners. So what, do you, what? What? There's some guys on the island that already know about it. I can tell though everybody on the island ain't talking about it though. But yeah, uh, hey, check, check hey, the cool. show down. Yeah. Hey, cool. I'll build you a three pair so you can whip all their asses with a three. <laughs> with your, with your radio, yeah. We we don't need a four pair to whip anybody in Hawaii. We build a three pair. Okay, okay, okay. Make you just let me know. Peel. Give him, give him, give him two more peels for a bonus. Hey, that way you get hey, the radio cut hey, off. Complete. Hey, off. Ji hey, Ji hey, G hey, Jimmy. <laughs> if I, if I gotta, I'll go to my closet. I got a butt cutter two by six. If I gotta, I'll go to my closet. I got a twelve peel, and I'm only doing it with a four peel radio right now. Wow, wow. Well, that's a wrap. So in the states, that'd be like somebody on a three thousand, and then coming a, out with like a water, a water with a twenty hundred. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just give him the hammer now. Send me your address. Send me your address. <laughs> okay, hey, mail me whatever you want. I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> but you know, all the truth oh, no. is, you know, uh -huh. you know, in all in all truth. Look at here. There's, there's, I, I got I got these for them crybabies. You see this? Oh my! The yeah. little baby ones. This okay. is a, this is what you call this is this is for the cry the cry baby, baby one a participation award. I, oh, I want one. I need that. No, no. <laughs> hey Jimmy, hey Jimmy, you need you need you need to cover that in sand so they can say they got sand in their vaginas because they wouldn't keep. I ain't gonna cover hey, it. But, shit. I ain't even gonna put their but, name on it. They cried so damn much. I'm just gonna but, throw it in the box and send it to them. But I, I just wanted I just want to tell you guys, you know, the real perception in Hawaii is we got. We got like eight, nine islands. We got like four major islands. My island, I live on the island of Kauai or Gardenau. We got Honolulu. We got Maui and the big island. And of course, Molokai. And the, the, skip, the skip moves from the south back to the northwest where I live. 
then it goes back south. So at any minute, it don't matter if they're running a big box here on the big island, I can be with the four pill and getting over them at times. The script just yeah. moves back and forth like a like a hula girl, you know? Yeah, yeah, Plays yeah. back and forth. And you know, at any minute, I can be going, uh, going over somebody's base station. It's happened, but look at that guy dancing hula. You should have been here. We would have put you in a hula skirt with the coconut bra. <laughs> we, we, we did it to BBI. We did it to BBI. We saw it. We saw it. We saw it. We saw BBI and Doc Adams and, and oh. Bullet Bob. We got to see a little glimpse of that. <laughs> cool. I tried to get him. I tried to get him for BBI in your place, but uh, you know, you, my friend jumped in there, and I, you know, what can I say? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, hey, Vinny. One day yes, I want to come to I want to come to the states and go to the south with you guys. I oh man, Sean, come on! I, I personally met Sean at that uh, James Boys break in 2015. Nice. So, but 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 in all truth, I would like to end and say it don't matter in Hawaii. The skip runs different. It don't matter how much power you get. I can get run over any second, no matter what we run. Sometimes yeah. I mean we all can talk, no matter how big. I Absolutely. mean, everybody gets to talk. So no one is better than the other. And yeah. I'm not really competitive. I'm more a skip talker. Some people don't like the way I talk because I got the gift of gab, I guess. I don't know. You yeah. know, I like to play. You know me. You heard me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, I'm out there, you know, ch 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 you know, rocking it, you know. Absolutely, yeah. What what re really kept me in radio, what really started me out in the CB, is when I heard 766 many, many, many years ago. Then I went in 2000, um, no, 1992, and I met him at the Dr. J break in Fresno. And from that time on, we've been friends, you know. This dude is one bad dude, yeah. man. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, you know, I'm going to get off pretty soon, but so I met 766 and I met him again in 2015, though we've been friends all that year. And another guy who um, really kept me in radio and wanted me to talk was Worldwide Dr. J, Marvin Gaye, Bay Station, break, 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 break. I really uh. missed that guy. He passed away a few years ago, but that's what inspired me to talk and not be afraid to come on a bowl, even though I'm, you know, I'm not running no 3CX, 3000 or 15,000. But, you know, and I've spoken a bowl many times. Yeah. You just got to key up. Nobody got to know what you're running. You just key up and run with the condition. So, Absolutely. other than that, you know, it don't matter who we are. I'm no better than nobody else. Absolutely, I'm just, man. Like, I'm, just, I'm just one of the fish in a big sea in Hawaii. <laughs> hey, but, hey, hey, cool chain. whenever you decide to come down to Florida, you just let us know, man. We're going to roll the red carpet up for you. Fat man uh, uh, is in Florida right now. Tomorrow, me and Jimmy go meet up with him and have lunch and just kind of kick it. So whenever you decide to come down, man, red car be laid out for you, man. We're, wherever you at, I mean, the state of Florida is big, but me and Jimmy will make a way to see you, man. That's for sure, bro. We appreciate you. That's one. Of, that's really what would be one of my next things. Come to the to your side and uh, come out there and meet everybody as much as I can. Um, I've talked to you guys all over there, but you know, that's yeah. one of my probably my last wishes. I'm not saying I'm going, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I, I yeah. I really would love to come there. And I'd love you to make sure you bring 787. And I'm going to put his radio in my car soon. I'm going to yeah, put yeah, 787's yeah. radio, and I'm going to run it with that 2 by 6 Yeah, so that's no, my no, my Puerto Rican not, brother up there in Alabama. Yeah, he's a good, good radio not, guy, too. Hey, not, not, nothing against Sean's radio, but I'm going to preserve him and take care of him. But take all that, of them. But that radio is an awesome radio I got from uh, uh, Fernando. Yeah, yeah. That's he's a, a good guy, radio. too. Yeah, He's a real oh, yeah. good guy too. Great, hey, great I, guy. I, I send them all kinds of gifts and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It Fernando's a really good. good guy. Yeah, he's okay. a great, great guy. I know him from the Spanish Bowl from, from back in the early eight or late, late eighties, early nineties. So he's been around. He does a lot of stuff for W in Puerto Rico. So shout out to my oh, boy Seven Eighty Seven. Real yeah, good guy. I know. He does it for W. He did it for you. He did yeah. it for B A. He's did it for. Um, Big Daddy on a sand pile. Yep, I yep. know the star already. And he I does, he does a lot of good work. I'm the only yeah. guy that I think has a radio from him in Hawaii right now. Yeah. Yes, sir. Hold yes, on. Sir. Hold on. Hold on. We're, we're talking about Big Daddy. Big Daddy's a cigar dude. Yeah. He, had, yeah. 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 I had Big Daddy up. I'm like, look, I'm going to be in Florida, bro. Come on down. My treat. Where the fuck is Big Daddy? I'll call him tomorrow. I'll call him tomorrow. Tell him to get in that damn... Lincoln Continental, he got in and, 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 and head south. I'll call him in the morning, bro. All right. 
Yeah. I'm gonna get to this. I go, no, I'm gonna get. Yeah. Hey, cool. Before you jump. Cool out there, You know. Number one son has been drinking. He's been drinking that Cavassier or whatever the hell he's drinking. I don't know what he's drinking. No, he might, be drinking might be drinking Colt 45 or Mickey's malt liquor. Hell, I don't know. And Jimmy, I don't know. Jimmy, I'm this is a damn good time for you to tell him, go on and build them five pills. Don't stop now. Keep that pressure on him. Get it on. Yeah, keep the pressure on him. Get him going right now. <laughs> hey, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy, put me on the spot. Hey, hey cool. I do whatever you need, brother. And, uh, hey, Jimmy put me on a spot. Let me tell you something. Y'all, oh, Kirk Carter's been on the show, so I'm saying y'all motherfuckers. Y'all motherfuckers <laughs> out of the goddamn scenery in South Florida. That's all I can say. God. Yeah. Hey, y'all. Uh, okay. Hey, cool. Yeah. Keep that hammer down, my brother. You're doing your thing, and I appreciate all you've done for me. Put my name out there. Doing all that bullshit. I mean, it, and that's what it is. It's bullshit in the end. But I appreciate you, my brother. 100. Every, every time I'm on that radio, I even told I even told Fireball, he came back on the radio. I said, Fireball, this is a 98 BHP 4 peel trio. And he was like, wow, that radio sounds real good. And I told him it was number, number one son built, Sean Miles. But you know what? I got to go. Um... They got a bunch of other people, and um, Posty's calling. He's, he needs to do something, so. Okay. okay guys. Thank you. Thank you for coming on, man. Appreciate you taking the time, bro. Much love, bro. 73s, man. <laughs> Take care, 73. Yeah, hey. hey, Sean. God. Sean. Sean. Damn, what? Oh, Sean. my God. Yes, sir. Sean. <laughs> when I when, when I call you, when I call you, answer your phone, because I've called you a few times. Yeah, Sean, answer your damn phone call. This guy's called you a few times, man. <laughs> I, I wanted you to put, maybe I want you to put two full peel 98 HPs together. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, oh, God bless. Take care, cool chase. I love oh, bro. No, no worries, Sean. It's only 10 pills. It ain't no big deal. <laughs> yeah, no big deal. Hawaii, 10 pills. Hello. 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 Take care, cool. Take care, cool. All right. All right. Hey. Come here. I'm on a podcast. <laughs> Wave to everybody. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? Hey, how are you? <laughs> nice to meet you, too. Okay. That's my bartender. Huh? That's my bartender, baby. Hey, that's oh, about, oh, show I'm about to get all of us in trouble. <laughs> Fuck, I'd get myself in trouble if I wasn't faithful. <laughs> we, we about to watch oh, Sean get arrested. Oh, hell no. I ain't getting arrested in Florida. I'd have to call, I'd have to call Jimmy for bail. If I call Jimmy for bail, Jimmy be like, I got three dollars for you. And and it's it's, it's over the chubby. Listen, when they look at the camera, watch my camera, watch my camera. When they arrest you, I'm going to do this right here. <laughs> what happened? Hey, I got to uh -huh. go, man. Okay. I got to go. Aloha, bro. Okay, Thank man. you, brother. Aloha. Take care. All right, now. You're having a hell of a time. Be on off that fucking chain, man. Yeah, this guy right here, number one son, he's hanging out. He's hanging out by himself with us on the show, and he is partying it up, you know? What, you got another one, Sean? Sean had about four mimosas already. Look, they just brought you one right now, right? No, number one son of the same height as the Hawaiian. Hey, baby, don't have fuck with me. I got I'm not first out of deep. I got another one in the first, baby. Stop, man. This is my station, and I'm getting kicked off it. Uh-oh. You all right over there, Post? Oh, hold on. Let's talk a little bit about Post, man. That's right. This, uh oh, this is that Thunderlips? That's Thunderlips out there, ain't it? Oh, hell no. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I call Eskimos on this goddamn podcast. Hey, y'all, listen, y'all don't know about Thunderlips. Thunderlips met us in Reno, Nevada. What's up, my brother? Come on, come on, come on up, up in here. here. Get them headphones on it. I fool. You hear me? You don't like see me. I hear you. All right. You hear me? Hey, I, we hear I, you. I, I, hey, listen, I was telling these guys, you came all the way from Alaska, met me, my dad, Deputy Dogs, 
freak here cheap in Reno. We did the thing. We got we got jerseys for the operators on the back. The operators. Yep, and I got mine still. Me too. I, I might not be able to spin in it because I'm a fat man, but shit. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's you that? lost weight. <laughs> what? He going to have to change his handle. <laughs> Wait, what's going on, Lips? Oh, not much. We just made the trip this way. When did you when did you get in? I got in last Saturday. Wow. wow. So hey, last uh, Saturday. Tell us, tell us, I'm going home tomorrow. Tell, oh, okay. Tell us tell us what's the environment like for you? What, what's what's the what's the hospitality and the environment looking like out there? Oh, it's always good, bro. It's always good. It's like family, like you never leave before. Hey, let me ask you a question. You feel like you're at home. Do you have that same mic on your radio station? Because I mean, you man, sound exactly the same. You sound exactly <laughs> the same, and like you're, you, like you're that, that's not, no, no, no. Hold on. When he first, hey, no. hold on. When he flew from Alaska to Hawaii, his nuts dropped. <laughs> Gravity. Hell no. No, 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 no. Yes, I know I'm not doing my voice over. <laughs> you was asking if I was here. I'm here, baby. I'm here, Prime. Yeah, where's, where's, that is, bro? That's, that's where's, where's my girl? Where's my girl, son of a bitch? <laughs> now, who who is that lips right there? I don't recognize that guy. Who was that? Kaviki. That was Kaviki. 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 No, Kaviki. 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 Hey man, I'm from Florida, man. You gotta bear yeah. with me. Hold on, y'all wanted to get this shit to jump off, right? You get found with a swipe on the mic. No, hell no, <laughs> hell no. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. I'm getting the vibe that you want to see like somebody go to jail or something. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's get your best. <laughs> Sean, Sean's an instigator. Sean wants to see some uh, shit. A while ago, he wanted to get BBI on here. <laughs> What do you think about, hey, Thunderlips, what do you think about getting BBI on here? That, that's a big bastard, man. Holy shit. <laughs> God damn. I, I, I want to know how to find the other wall. God damn. Oh, God damn. Oh, my God. Hey, did you bring, oh, did you bring oh, 54 with you? Oh, I'm sorry. I can't God damn. I'm sorry. <laughs> now, you can curse. At? Is he in there? You can do whatever the hell you want to do. Did you bring 54 with you, or did you leave him in Alaska? No, he... He wanted to stay home and get a time by himself. <laughs> that's the only time he be, that's the only time he's able to talk, you say? Is that what you say? <laughs> oh, making trouble. Quit making trouble for me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we got, we got oh, Already. Well, we got you up in here, Lips, for the viewers. Give us a little bit of rundown of history. You know, just kind of how you got started and, 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 and bring us, you know, fast paced us to where you're relevant on the bowl today. I don't know. Am I relevant? I don't know that. You're relevant. You're relevant. Just come on with your story, brother. <laughs> come, on, come on. Come on with the story. Uh, I, I, I started, started radio in Honolulu in 1985. Then uh, in 1992, I went back. I moved to Alaska. And I decided, well, I needed another station in 2005. And that's when I hooked up my first antenna. Uh, what was it? A four element Joe Gun V quad. And then uh, I think I met Sean them and they started telling me that I needed something different. So I went to a flat sided six element and Sean them set me up, squeaker, a bunch of guys helped me, and then I just went forward from there. And I don't know. This is, ain't all by myself, man. I had a lot of help doing what I do, uh, teaching me. You know, I live so far in Alaska that I had to learn how to do certain things on my own. Mm. But there's a lot of people that really help me do what I do. For sure. But I've been on the radio for a while. But, you know, only now that I've been on the bowl since the last cycle, you know, trying to do what we can, put Alaska on the map. That's what we're doing. You're doing a, you know, you're doing a great job. You're doing a great job of doing that. But uh, I saw, I saw, I saw, <laughs> I saw a fat man freeze up. I thought he fell asleep, but he just froze up he, and no, he, he bounced. Did, he so. did. He, no, he, he crashed real quick. He Is that what it was? <laughs> yeah. We'll get him back oh, on in a minute here. Uh, 
Power napping. Man, he's been through, since you've been on, before you've been on, he's been through like five mimosas. I've been counting them on the down low. So he's probably, we're supposed to get with him tomorrow, but I don't think he's going to make it tomorrow, Jimmy. I don't think so. If, if, if I knew I was going to be on here, I would have been drinking a little bit more beers. It's all good, man. It's all good. I mean, we just, we just, we just honored to have you on, man. Appreciate you coming on and kind of like yeah. sharing your quick story and just kind of kicking it with us. I know there's a lot going on over there. We just want to be a fly on the wall and enjoy what you guys are enjoying. And uh, man, appreciate you coming on. And uh, I, like I, I just said, told them I wanted to stop by and talk to Jimmy and uh, Mr. Daytona. Appreciate it, man. And uh, well, you be, you be having a hammer down there, man. You be having a hammer down. Keep up the good work, bro. And appreciate uh, it. Yeah, man, we definitely want to get you on and uh, get in depth with you one of these days, you know, get your story yeah, yeah. from beginning to end. You know, I know it's kind of like a quick thing Let we're doing right now. Be ready. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because, you know, I don't want, I don't want to do a fly by thing because I know you got a lot of history, especially representing up there in Alaska, man. Uh, you know, you're you one of the pioneers the up there. You bring a lot to the game coming up in that God's country area, man. So. I'm definitely bring interested. My neighbor on. Bring my neighbor on together. Absolutely, absolutely. We will have you all both together at the same time. That ain't no problem, man. Cause, uh, yeah. man, you guys are up there and uh, represent well, man. Yeah, yeah we just sure. try to help out everybody and uh, be their referee. And you put yeah. out good water gates. You give back. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely, you absolutely. You know, you keep Radio 100. You don't, you don't hesitate. You're not hesitant about posting the people's gates, and you bring a lot of energy yeah. to the game coming out from up that way. So, yeah. Appreciate but we've had a comment it. jump up in there. Is this something new? Is it, no, this is nothing new. It's just we're, we we had Postmaster boots on the ground covering that break over there. We wanted to jump on here live and 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 you know bring you guys in and as they were passing around the table through the through the raffle that they had, you know, and just kill time, shoot the shit, enjoy some fellowship, and kick it. Right. Be a fly on the wall at that break. There's a yeah, lot man. of people. Yeah, I bet you there's 200 over 200 people. people. Yeah, wow, over 200. that's awesome. Wow. That's awesome. I know later on we're gonna get into where uh, we'll have the camera set up to where everybody can come and kind of give a roll call or like say where they're from, what island they're from. Doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what, what we're gonna what do. They're doing right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to get I want to get everybody get everybody from the small to the tall just kind of get on there and be like, hey, this is such and such from the island of whatever. You know what I mean? And get everybody an opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Right now, right now we're talking to the big strappers right now. Hey, <laughs> now everybody can see me that I'm not black. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, it's, and, it, and it's cool. Hey, hey, I, like, I like calling you 1600. Hey, Thunderless, there you go. I like, I like seeing the fa Now everybody gets an opportunity to put the, the man behind, the, the, behind right. the microphone, see the face, and get their story and go and be like, man, I know his story. I know where he came up. I know what he did, you know that, and that's a cool thing. Rather than just hear a voice and not know who it is, now we got to see the man behind the microphone, which is awesome, and all, and we appreciate you taking the time to do that. Well, I appreciate it, man. Appreciate you having me on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Always just a pleasure. Just let me know. Give me a call. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We sure will, Jim, man. And Jim, Jimmy's got my phone number. Yeah, I, I, I got it. I got it, Lil. He was trying to set me up with a 10,000-watt amplifier. I was like, hell no. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Why are you putting my business in the store? <laughs> I'm going to sound like oh, Vinny in there last night. night. Hey, check this no, out. Hold no, on. No, I'm at, you know, last night, 413 said that I busted him out. Uh, you know, him and Master P uh, working in the back barn, putting this, this quad together or whatever. I said, hey, I ain't busted you out. We ain't even got the aluminum to build that bitch. I said, so <laughs> how the hell have I busted you out? Hey, your tube never even went into a case, so how the hell you put my business in the street? <laughs> hey, that, that's what I'm running now. I switched right. over to a quad. How you like that? I, I love it. I can better than, better than the Yagi? Better than the Yagi? As of right now, yes, sir. Okay, okay. That's all right. You ain't got to say no more. But I'm on a special one. I'm on a 24-foot. Okay. We gonna we gonna put the. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I said most 24 foot quads are 20 foot. Okay. Uh, uh, my antenna guy is uh, six to nine. In California. Okay. And he made a 24 footer for me. Nice. So we definitely we I'm definitely doing. me and Jimmy in the works to put on a show. We're gonna we're gonna do a a, a quad Yagi comparison type show. So we're gonna have. All right, we're going to have like a, a, a quad Yagi com comparison. We're going to get a couple guys that run quads, 
and a couple guys that run Yagi's and uh, kind of not argue but compare it to see what 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 they what they get out of it. You know, like right, you right. ran a, a Yagi before and how you could compare it to a quad and so on and so forth. Somebody that run a quad that went back to Yagi and kind of make a you know a good show about it and and, and get the input and and, and see because I'm I'm interested in running a quad. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I run a Yagi, but uh, the quad, man, I, I hear some of these guys, including yourself, coming out, doing the stuff with the small watts that you guys are doing, man, and, and just yep. dominating the band with quads, man. So let me see if I get yeah, the wait. fat man back in here. Well, I, I think, I, really I, think he won, I think he woke up. Hold on. Uh, he froze up again. I might have to bring him back in. He froze he up. He's cheap. I had a whole internet. He's, man, he's on his uh, sixth mimosa. I think he don't know what... He's with on the, the sand pile, Lips. He's, he's, he's in Florida. He's in Florida. Oh, I'm sorry. We're meeting up. We're meeting up with. We're meeting up with him tomorrow. That's that damn blue hair internet then. <laughs> yeah, well, he might be out there on some patio. He's probably still in Wi-Fi. Yeah, he's, I got him. He's froze up, but I, I, as soon as he gets in here, I promise I'll bring him back in here. But yeah, man. Peter with some food here. There you go. Yeah, poor man hasn't even eaten. He was saying he was bragging about all the food, and I said, "Well, what, what was your favorite food?" And he's like, "I didn't even eat yet." I said, "Man, you need to go get you a plate or something." <laughs> I think he was going to dinner when I told him. I said, "Jump on live with us." I think he forgot about dinner. <laughs> we, We're gonna get we him. He's him gonna out. get a podcast DUI. <laughs> Me and uh, Big Shot took him to dinner the first night, okay? And uh, we had some chicken, Japanese chicken. Mm. And there was a, uh, a special dip that they make, right? And uh, he dipped his chicken in and he said, uh, no. And he said, can I have that uh, thing of sour cream? And I said, hell yeah, go ahead. So he dipped his chicken in sour cream. He said, that's perfect. <laughs> It was, too, taste buds. It, was, it was too spicy for him. He cooled off with the sour cream. Is that what it was? I, I think so. That had That's to what be. it was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, I, I know you from you from the island originally. I'm from Puerto Rico. We like a lot of spicy stuff. So yeah. to cool down, they probably did the sour cream deal. Sour That's what probably what perfect. he did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's for sure, man. Yeah, man. Give your homeboy fifty four in Alaska a shout out. I think he's sitting in here with us. Yes, sir. Hey, Jack, you must be jealous because he was here last year. <laughs> was he? Hey, Jack, Jack is 85 degrees, brother. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> they had a snowstorm yesterday. <laughs> oh, man, Shoot, Jack. I'm going to pass this on to somebody else, bro. Yeah, man. You hey, guys man. Let me know. You guys let me know. Yeah, Thunderlips, man, we we appreciate you coming on, bro, taking your time. I know you guys, there's a lot going on. I bring the breaks, and I know there's a lot of stuff Thank going you. on, so we ain't going to hold you up. We just appreciate your time that you gave us, and uh, we'll definitely keep you in touch and get your story, man. We'll get you on and uh, get your full story, bro. Appreciate you, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, Jimmy and Benny, you guys take it easy, man. You, you have, have a good one, bro. Day. Appreciate you. All you right. too, man. Okay. All right. All right, I'm going to put them on a, on the mute side till they switch over again, man. What a, what an awesome uh, deal is, man. We're getting some superstars, Jimmy. Well, that's that's what this was for, you know. You know, for the viewers and people, you know, talking about, hey, we need more of a notice if you guys are going live. And it, this, was, this, this was supposed to happen last night, you guys. And this didn't – it was not able to happen last night because of some technical difficulties and, and, and Thanks, lining Bobby. some stuff up. Thank you. So it's working out, you know, today. These guys are, the, the hour windows are six hours difference, you know. So when he gave the green light, hey, I'm ready. Hey, let's do this. Let's do this. You know, we just kind of flow with this thing. This ain't the Grammys. You know, a lot of people are basing this shit at the Grammys. This is not the Grammys. This is just radio coverage. This yeah. is keeping 27.025 current and, and relevant and, and showing live footage of what's going on over there. So. Absolutely. Hey, uh, Postmaster, I see you right there. Enjoy your meal. I'm going to put you backstage. When you're ready to come out, just give me a thumbs up. Enjoy your meal. Take your time. We're going to be here kicking it for a little while. So uh, let me know what you got going on next. Eat your, eat, your, eat your dinner. Hold on. Let me put your mic on real quick because I don't want yeah, to yeah. exclude you. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm just glad, like... I thought maybe we were going to go half an hour or something like that. Shit, we're almost up to two hours. So it, I'm glad it, you guys got some good content. It's um, all good, man. Yeah, and, and look, we'll do that roll call once I've finished eating. 
Yeah, man. I'll be backstage. I'll, I'll possibly might bring another superstar on. I don't know. That's fine. We'll see. That's fine. I want to get I want to get everybody you know to come up at least and say hi and uh, what yeah, island they're yeah. from and give everybody an opportunity just to say what's up so that way the the viewers could see you know the the people behind the microphone so that'll be awesome but enjoy your meal brother I know boots on the ground been doing a lot of work man and uh, he deserves a, a get a, a time for for a meal at least enjoy your meal. Postmaster, <laughs> maybe if you can set it up to where like the guys can like maybe line up or something. You can get a few of them to line up, and they can just run by, grab the mic, throw their name, and throw their call sign or whatever, and and and, and just keep it moving. We can That's cover exactly a bigger, a bigger area. That's exactly yeah. what I'll do. But but I've got to get them coming past here. Okay, like like I am um, a band aid uh, station. The way I've got it set up, like you know, well, you know or, or I'm listen, doing a great job, bro. I got my cameras listen, going it, 10 meters that way, 10 meters that way, so, yeah. It, it doesn't matter, bro. I'm going to say it for you. Only a damn fool would hate on what you're doing That's over right. there. That's right. That's right. Covering that break for free from the kindness of your own heart. You know Absolutely, man. So That's love right just, there, bro. Only a damn fool would get mad or say something negative. So you keep doing what you're doing, bro. Well, well and, and, and the love comes from these guys here, man. That's yes, all sir. I'm going to say. Like, I mean, if, if, if I thought to myself I was going to be dealing with a bunch of duck pluckers, I wouldn't be here. I'm dealing Absolutely. with people that are doing this like from their heart, man. Everything yeah, that man. they're doing here. And, 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 you know, the guys in the mainland, the biggest issue I think for a lot of people was that the, this break fell too close to other breaks. All right. So, you know, that's, that's just a teething thing. Once we get it right here, it's, again, I'm going to reiterate it to everybody. Well and worth coming out here. You're going to experience something you've never experienced before. And that is the love of the people here. Right. Absolutely. Well, good copy. Enjoy, yeah, your food, kick back. enjoy your meal. That's Mr. Postmaster. I'll get back with you shortly. Yes, sir. We're going to put you backstage. Enjoy your meal and just give me a thumbs up. I can see you backstage and just let me know. Right. You got you to gotta, you gotta give the man a break, man. I mean, the man went all the way from Australia to Hawaii with yeah. five different cameras, a laptop, uh, you know, to haul that in there. It, it ain't cheap just no to bring all that equipment. No clothes. And, he was talking no. to me and you last night, and he yeah. couldn't even fit no clothes or an extra bag or anything because he had all of his video recording gear, whatever gear, all in suitcases and 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 travel 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 gear, pulling it, you know, the, the yeah. pull behind suitcases and all that. So I was like, well, hey, bro, what about clothes? He's like, I just I'll, I'll buy some, and then I'll just turn it into the goodwill donation, homeless, whatever when I leave, you know. So go home. when when you got a guy that's doing that's, what that's this crazy. guy is doing for the game and for the hobby and to present this on this platform to where we can take it from this platform and turn it over to you guys. I mean, like I say, Absolutely. real talk, only a damn fool would say something ignorant at that point. Absolutely. And and I and I, I agree with you one hundred percent, man. That's that's true love of the game, man. For somebody to come out here, go to another pretty much continent, another island, and Across not the only world. Off the, across the world, just not to just enjoy, you know, the fellowship, but to bring that fellowship to fellow operators in the mainland states. In other words, giving us a little glimpse of what's going on. Because I don't know about you, Jimmy, but I'm excited just to be, like I said, a fly on the wall, seeing what's going on sure. and seeing how they're fellowshipping. Just to see, you know, BBI and them guys. Look at that. <laughs> I'm stacking up. It's going to be a long night. Yeah, it's going to be a long night. Just to see, you know. Bullet Bob and BBI and Doc Adams just dancing and just cutting up and having fun. You know, that's what this is all about. And that's what we're trying to bring to the Super Bowl. Bring that camaraderie back. Bring that 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 love, that fellowship, and, and, and leave all that hate and discontent shit out the door, man. Yes, bullshit. Crazy. Yeah, but no, don't, don't damn Jimmy. Jimmy's good, man. This shit's like water to Jimmy. Jimmy, it's, it's, it's no big deal. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, you got to You good. see, all the ones you drink, I don't know if you can see this. Read that on the top, bro. 9.9. Now, oh, that's big boy shit. You know, yeah, every, yeah, time, yeah. every time... It's an IPA. Your, yeah, you know, you have the refrigerator out in your garage, and you keep all that stuff in your refrigerator. And, man, that's why I end up having to stay the night when I go to bed. <laughs> it's all pre-planned, brother. It's all pre-planned. <laughs> I, I, I drink that shit over there, man. And, you know, and it's just, it's just, man, you can't drive home, you know. But, listen, <laughs> this, is all, this is all for the fun. It's all for the game. Absolutely. But, I mean, you know, that dude right there, man, if that dude never touched a radio again, when you go to that extremity of covering that type He's of a legend. coverage. He's a legend. Yeah, yeah. 
you're you're doing work, bro. That you know, yapping this on the you know you'd have to you'd have to run twenty years to kind of catch up to that type of work. You know what I'm saying? That's just my opinion. I mean, because everybody's not willing. Everybody financially, they can't do that. They can't just get up and they can't take off. Somebody asked earlier, are we planning on covering the BYU break? Uh, you know, who knows what we'll be doing? You know, I mean, so I can't I can't say yeah at this point. I can't say nay at that point. You know, it just is. I don't know what happened, Jimmy. I think I lost the audio. No, I lost the audio on you. There you no, go. I'm okay, back. now you. Just, you're hitting buttons like, over there, Jimmy. Jimmy, you're hitting no, buttons over there. <laughs> three, what, three, four more. Hell, I might, I might close the lid on this shit. Ain't no I like you I'm leaving myself. me by. You about to abandon me, leave me by myself over here with my I nine point nine. I might just reach up there, and grab the screen, and say, "Hey, I had enough." I got, I got, I got, I got, I got a little freaked out. I got a little freaked out. I said, "Man, I'm gonna have to do this shit by myself now." Nah, don't freak out. Don't freak. Jimmy's we, here. Have no we, fear. We already done lost number one son with all the mimosas. He keep number trying to come in. He got arrested. He got arrested. <laughs> <laughs> he got arrested. You, you got bail money. You got bail money. What? Ha who is he? <laughs> I see. I see. I picked up my cell phone a little while ago. and said, "Collect call from." And I hung up real quick. I didn't even, get, well, I didn't even give it a chance. Let me tell you. See, the great thing about Palm Beach County Jail System is when you go into the Palm Beach County Jail System, you don't get that phone call right away. So you <laughs> you got to wait. You got to wait twenty four hours. We'll, we'll be able to do the show, kill a twelve pack, do whatever we want to do, and they'll call us in the morning. The more, they, they, they hold the more, call. The more, it's going to be like eight o'clock in the morning. Say, hey, don't I get a free phone call? <laughs> well, that's what he's thinking, but he don't get that until after you get prostate and water bath. When you get prostate check and water bath, <laughs> then you get the call. And, and the orange suit with the flip flops. <laughs> oh yeah, in Florida they have fleas, bro. You got to oh, yeah. got to get de flea de ticked. You got to get the whole <laughs> shit. When you go in there, you got to the whole process. He got to he got to do the squat and everything the whole night. Everything, everything. That, that's the full nine yard workup before they give him the phone call. He, he ain't in Idaho no more. He ain't gonna be he in, in Idaho. Idaho no more. Boy, in Palm Beach County, boy, better wake up. <laughs> <laughs> shit, I don't know how they do it in Idaho. I can tell you in Palm Beach County in that muck. Yeah, it's gonna get de flea. <laughs> you're gonna get de tick, and you're gonna. Squat. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me see. Hold on. He popped in here. Let me see. This, this is what we got left of him. Look. <laughs> he tried hard to get up in here. He tried hard, say, man. How, somebody say, how you know, Jimmy? Shit, I've been to jail. Shit. I ain't ashamed to say it. A lot of people don't know Jimmy was a, well, what the hell were you, a corrections officer? What were you over there? You, I know you worked for the that's prison system my, for a little that's while. after I got my criminal charges expunged, if you want to know. <laughs> <laughs> that's after I got all my criminal charges expunged. Uh, rebuke and expunge. <laughs> so what was I? <laughs> I was a criminal, but now I'm not a criminal. <laughs> oh see? my God! You went to one of them five hundred dollar lawyers. Yeah, I got you. I get you expunged. Oh, bullshit! Five hundred, five hundred dollars. You can't get shit for five hundred dollars. Not no more. Not no more. Five hundred dollars. More like fifty thousand dollars. But yeah. But hey, I'm gonna tell you something. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see. Hold on. Are you good? Are you good, postmaster? You still eating? Give me a thumbs up. You want to come on now or you want to still in? Okay, he ready to come on. on. I, I, I hate out them crane birds. You know one thing. Let me tell you something about them crane birds. If you Give me one second, Postmaster. One birds, oh, you, you go to jail. One of them, <clears throat> bro, them birds I think are from Alaska. If you kill one of them birds, it's a felony, bro. Your yes, ass sir. will go to prison for killing one of them birds out there on them golf courses. Yeah, Florida got yeah. so many laws against animals now. You got, I mean, for, if you want to kill a gator... You have to have a tag permit, and I think they do a raffle on that. You have a lottery, and you're only allowed one tag or two tags per person for per year, and that's if you win the lottery. So uh, I, my neighbor is a police officer. He won a tag, and uh, he got two gators. But the way they, they're so strict in terms of uh, the wildlife and the wild game down here that if you get caught— you know, you you go into jail. You you know they'll 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 take a baby before you get you you could actually kill a baby before you kill a gator out here in Florida, man. It's crazy. Man, the, the goddamn gator ate the lady. The, 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 the man, yeah, the, the old lady. Off in, 
And they couldn't even shoot the gator. To get, the ladies on the phone with a 9-1, they said, please don't shoot. Hold on one minute. Hold on one minute, number one son. I'm glad we got you back. But Jim, Jimmy done froze up on me, man. Jimmy got them. I don't know what happened. There you go. There you go, Jimmy, right there. Hold on one minute. Going off. Jimmy must be going off, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He going off. He got, he got that, that, that internet. is hot. His internet is real hot. Hey, we we, we hey we were sitting up in here talking. We told all the viewers that you got arrested. And you was getting de tick, de fleed, and 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 over there getting processed. <laughs> hey, another thing, another thing, Jimmy. Real quick, speaking about the wildlife, I know your stepson or your son hit a hit a what, what did he hit? He hit a hawk or something real quick and and put that shit on TikTok or whatever it was. Got like a hundred thousand views in a, in like an hour. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, no, no. He was he was going to work. He was going to work, and uh, the damn the damn it was an eagle. It was a damn eagle or something, and the damn eagle went right through the damn wind windshield on the front end of his brand new car. And he's sitting there driving. Lucky he didn't have an accident or wreck or whatever. But the damn eagle come through the windshield, and the bird went all into his damn face and his uniform and all that and messed him up. And guts and bird and all that blew off in the back. But hey, you know what? He made it, and he did get a lot of he did get a lot of views out of that. But they ended up making him take that thing down because they said it was animal cruelty to show the eagle getting uh, self destructed like that. So wow, wow. That's hey, insane. Five thirteen. Yes, sir. Jimmy's son hit a goddamn mob on the on the goddamn Florida Turnpike, but I'm not going to say that now. <laughs> number, number one son, number one son, hanging out. Well, you, hey, well, you living it up down there, and boy. Hey, let me ask you a question, Fat Man. How far are you sleeping from where you're sitting? Three minutes. That's a damn good thing, my man. That's now that's a planned. We that's a we were, right there. We was worried about you for a quick minute because you in Palm Beach County, man. They don't play down there down in South Florida. <laughs> Hey, hey, check this out. And I have a designated driver. So we'll ride around in the convertible Mustang. So you'll see it tomorrow. Okay. Man, okay. Listen, bro, you're 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 good, bro. You're good. You're you you're, you're off the chain over there. You ain't got shit to worry about. Hey, hey, Big Daddy, I see Big Daddy in the comments. Big Daddy, number one single. We're gonna go see number one son tomorrow. So hit me up, man. Uh, he, he said he wanna smoke a cigar with you, so hit me up in the morning because me and Noah. Jimmy gonna meet up with him down south tonight, tomorrow. So, Big Daddy, you you got my number. Give me a call. And we'll meet up, no doubt. But let me get uh let me get Postman back on here real quick, cause I know uh, uh he's been waiting. He ate his. We finally got a chance to eat his dinner after setting up for the past three hours, man. So uh, we want to give him an opportunity to come back on. Oh shoot, what happened? Let me see. Let me go. Let me uh. There you go. That that damn nine point nine, Jimmy. Is that nine point nine? I'm gonna blame. Yeah, the nine point nine. There you go. There you go, I got you. Um, I just wanted to add something else in there. Sure. Um, these guys here, I don't know if you've noticed, but there's that many musicians here, and they're actually changing instruments on the fly. Wow. New bands coming on, like, like, and these are all CBers. They're all CBers and they're, wow. yeah. Multi we can hear them, we can hear them jamming, we can hear them. Like, like that's, that's my uh, designated driver that's on the drums, um, and I didn't even know he was a drummer. That's uh, Poy Pounder, 706 from uh, Molokai. Mm. Wow. But anyway, um, I just had an idea. Yeah. Um, while you guys were talking before about the Louisiana place. And I'm in the process of setting up a GoFundMe postmaster down under correspondent at Louisiana. Oh, yeah. That's a joke. I was just joking. I was joking, bro. I was joking. I was joking. No, man. Hey, man. If, if, uh, it ain't no joke. If, uh, hey, if you need some funds to get there, and then if, uh, I don't have a problem. Shoot. <laughs> yeah, it, take, it takes a lot of money, man. Shit. I, I, ain't, I ain't got no problem with that, bro. I really well, don't. Because you're doing a lot. You are joke, doing a lot, yeah. bro. You're, you're doing a lot, you know. But listen, you're doing it for the love. You're doing it for the hobby, you know. And it's, it's, it's all this is. It's for the game, you know. One, two, so, one, mean, two, three, one, two, three. Say you got two weeks. <laughs> you got two. You got two weeks. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're gonna need some donations quick. 
Everybody, you need to dial one eight hundred. Give to the postmaster. <laughs> yeah, we, you, hey, stay there in Hawaii, just in, and then you can fly from Hawaii straight to Louisiana. <laughs> I can take the time off from work, no problem, and my visa's for 90 days, so yeah, no problem. That's some good man, shit. man, you need to come down to Florida and come hang out with us, man. That's what you need to do. We, we, next, hey, tell you what, next year, 2024, Woody Woodpecker's having a break. I'm waiting for the flyer, and I'm going to put it on the Big Hammer Show so you guys could uh, plan ahead. I know it's like, oh, man, it's in 2024, but believe it or not, 2024 is right around the corner, man, so... That way you can make it, yeah, coming quick. And, hey, you ain't got no problem. You ain't got to worry about no hotel. You ain't got to worry about nothing. The red car be laid out for you, brother. I got an extra room over here. And and, and I was going to tell number one son, he got he ain't got to pay swamp weed for any air time. He could come over here and talk for free. So that's the way we roll <laughs> over here on the north side of Florida. Absolute gold. All right. Um, you can take me back off. I want to coordinate these guys now and start doing the... Um, yeah, let's see if we can get those guys kind of lined up. Yeah, yeah. Like, I line, do like line them up and, and we'll just, we'll just, we'll just my, lay them, run them through here. My biggest problem, Jimmy Swagger, Mr. Swagger, Straw Boss, my biggest problem... Come on. I didn't have a drum kit here, and now there's a drum kit right, right here. Right next to you. I wanted, <laughs> I wanted them to walk past. Yeah. Like, it's just one little obstacle, man. It's just one little baby man, obstacle. Ain't no big deal. Like, like, like I had this spot here allocated so I could walk past and talk. And now, I got a drum kit there, man. What are you putting a drum kit there for, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Oops, are all the kids asleep? Yeah, everybody's asleep. Hey, I don't even know what time it is, man. I, be I can right. fix that. Hey, Hang on a minute. That's, that's why I like this show so much because this shit, this shit can't be edited. This shit's not edited. If, 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 if that, hey, 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 if that, hey, Larry, if that shit happens okay, right there, be... hey, if it, it, there's no somebody, editing. somebody's hitting the beat button. <laughs> what the hell was that? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm just censoring myself. So do it again. Do it again. Just I thought case, I was going crazy. Yeah, just in case I feel like. <laughs> <swearing>. <laughs> I thought that was you, Jimmy, over there. I kept hearing the beat. Right. So, <laughs> oh, this guy's doing his own editing when he's thirsty. Look, look, I'm, I'm Number one prepared. son's arrested, hey. get detected, and deep clean. Hey, 413, I'm fully yes. prepared because I reckon, I reckon the crowd really loved me. <laughs> no, we love you, brother. Let me know Let me, let me know when you get ready. I'm going to take you off real quick. Just give me a thumbs up, all right? Uh, well, take me off now, and, um, yeah, you keep an eye for me. All right, you got it, bro. All right, homie. Man, that that that's love right there, bro. That guy's going yeah. through the extreme, man. That that's some funny shit. You see him? He's he censored himself. I can picture him cursing and hitting the butt like Beep. that dude's running around, hustling, getting aggravated. Shit ain't going the way he's wanting it to go, and dropping the f bomb. Like, straight up, that dude's like, why the why the f you put this drum set right here? You see what the f I'm doing, right? You know what I mean? That's crazy. A, uh, man, listen, that's what I love about this, man. We go off the cuff, man. Ain't nothing rehearsed here, y'all, man. We just coming over here, just kicking it. Hey, and when we're off the camera, that's how me Jimmy are, man. We just kick it, have fun, and, and we're glad that you guys are able to sit around the round table, have a beer, and just kick it on a Saturday night, man. Just enjoy what we do, and uh, we love the hobby, and uh, we just enjoy what Postmaster's doing, man. He's out there, man, and uh, just representing real well. You know, he come from Australia. Like I said, th those that are just joining us, he went from Australia all the way to Hawaiian Islands for the for the second annual break. I, I cannot say it for the life of me, man, and I want to get it right. So if anybody has any plans on going, uh, I see, hey, 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 number one son, I see you watching, man. Try to get back up in here, bro. And uh, But um, everybody, uh, uh, I'm trying to get the name right. I really don't want to mess this up. It's Laupa Ho Hoi Hoi. Uh, Hawaii Beach Park is the second annual meeting, meet and greet. And man, there's a whole bunch of guys. We already had a uh, showdown and cool change and uh, Thunder Lips and uh, uh, man, Doc Adams. And we saw BBI wearing a hula hoop, uh, a hula skirt and and, and uh, Bob Burns, man, uh, a whole bunch of guys. Man, just just to be able to glimpse of what everybody's doing and uh, just kind of be a fly on the wall, live and uncut. That's right, man. And uh, just enjoying it and having the ball, man. We hope you enjoy it too, man. Uh, we just did it like we, we do our show Fridays, but, you know, yesterday 
Postmaster was going to try to do it, um, you know, when everybody arrived. But unfortunately, the Internet wasn't really good where he was at. So I said, you know what? We could do this whenever, whenever, however. So we'll do it Saturday night when you're available. And uh, if people come in, they get to enjoy it. If not, they can watch it later on on YouTube. But they'll get a, a chance to watch what's going on, man. And, and I don't know about you, Jimmy, but I, I'm enjoying it. I'm seeing the music. I'm seeing the fellowship. I'm seeing what the Super Bowl, you know, uh, brethren is supposed to be about what it's supposed to be about that's you know that's one of the things because my locals is what really got me into it you know a long time ago back when i was like well my grandma my grandma got me into it and i've seen all the hospitality that truck just friends and stuff would come by the house and they would do like what you said the coffee you know and they would do the breaks and stuff like that so very early on in my life that's what I was was brought into. I seen the hospitality of it, and then the locals hanging out after the work. You know, a lot of the guys worked at the sugar mill. A lot of them were welders and mechanics and electricians. You know, and uh, they would all meet at the ballpark. You know, and they drink a beer, shoot the shit with the boys, and then go on home. Well, I was a jit running around, you know, in the streets and shit, and I'd just get up there and see where they were at and see what they was talking about. But that's 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 where I seen the hospitality. That's where I seen the mingling. That's where I seen the you know, the, the, the life shit, you know, and, uh, that's, what's instilled in me. And I always go back to that. It should be like that. It should be based on those, on those cross ties set across that canal, you know, to make that bridge and form that bridge. And, and I think a lot of the time, I think we're getting away from that. I think that the Watts, I think the power I think the big antennas, I mean, look, I'm just going to say everybody wants a big ass damn Johnson, but everybody ain't got one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody ain't got one. So you got to, you got to fit in where you can get in. If you're, if you're, if you're a guy and you're putting yourself or your family in debt or you're depriving yourself from taking family vacations and driving the car of your choice to, to back and forth the work just to be in this game or be in this hobby. You got to back up, man. You got to you got to pull the gas pedal back and you got to kind of evaluate things. Maybe maybe you're in a little bit over your head, you know what I mean? Everybody wants a, a 383 stroker or a 572, but can a 5.7 work, you know? Yeah. yeah so not yeah. to get lost and going down this road or whatever because I can because it's, it it bothers me. It, it it really does. It bothers me where I see the animosity driven to. It bothers me to, to we're getting away from the love, we're getting away from the the friendly family, uh, friendship part of it. it. It's getting more of where it's like, oh, I ain't gonna tell you shit because you're gonna try to put that mall on me, you know. And it and it and it really shouldn't be like that, you know. You should, like like when I was gonna move up there where you were, you know. I just put it real. I keep it real. You told me you said, man, you're gonna be plugging my ears, and I looked at you and I said, and. <laughs> and you said, well, I, I might not, I might, things ain't, I said, what, things ain't going to go as easy as what you might have had it? I said, it just is what it is. I said, we're going to fight every day. I said, we're going to fight and raise hell every day. And I said, what you tear up, we'll fix. I said, what I tear up, we'll fix. And I said, then we're going to get back on that radio. And I said, you're going to try to kick my ass and I'm going to try to kick your ass. And I said, we're going to fight like cats and damn dogs every day. That's right. And that's, and, that, and that's my mentality of it. But I think we're getting we're getting away from that. We're going into more of a people are just starting to become just 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 crying too much over this shit. Just worrying about what this person's doing, what that person's doing and completely getting away from what Postmaster's doing and what the platform is all about and what's happening out there in Hawaii. And people are worried about numbers. Man, I could give a F about numbers. I care more about what's going on with quality on this platform than quantity. You know That's what I right. mean? So it, it just is what it is. I mean, if you want big numbers, you got to go here and you got to go there. But uh, big numbers don't bring but big problems. So it just it, – it's, it's, that's a whole other story for me. We'll get into that shit because I like getting into that shit. I oh, like yeah, that real yeah. talk shit. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. Especially especially like, like you know, like I'll just give you an example. I, I tore my whole station down and I said, Jimmy, I want to start from scratch. You know, what I mean, just just for for the guys that are in here, a little tidbit, little 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 nugget. And Jimmy came up here and he said, "Well, we're gonna we're gonna take all the parts and we're just gonna rebuild everything brand new, man." We started from the antenna down. We put a brand new antenna, brand new coax, brand new everything. 
Hell, brand new winch on the tower, brand new everything, uh, new box, new driver, new radio, everything and everything. Now, it took us, would take us about six weeks about to, to get it all done, you know, from beginning to end. But that man right there was in my house staying every weekend for the, for the following six weeks, every weekend. I'm talking about from Friday afternoon to Sunday night, and we put in a lot of work. Like, you're not going to get that camaraderie from anybody. You know what I'm saying? Right now, to build the station, you need you need time, you need effort, you need money. And most of all, you know, we're not getting any younger. Before, we used to have people that, hey, I need to put an antenna up. Back in Daytona, back in the days, uh, if I need to put an antenna up, we'd have an antenna party, what we call a little antenna party. Uh, party. I'd have a little barbecue, and five or ten guys would come up. Man, we hoist that antenna up put it up and have a good time, eat barbecue, drink beer, and have a good time. Now, I can't get anybody, if I wanted to, to, to do anything, or, I, or, or nobody asked for help either. It's just, it's just changed during the years. And, and getting back to the story with you, you know, I appreciate what you've done for me because, you know, without your help as, as a friend, as a brother, and as a technician, you know, I mean, we, have we got outside help from other technicians? Absolutely. There's no shame in our game. I'll tell you in a quick minute, me and me and Stevie didn't put my station together by ourselves. We we sought help from different technicians. You know, I'm just gonna throw that out there. We got we got different opinions, we got different stuff, but we put our minds together. Him in the fabrication business and me being blowing stuff up from for years, got a little bit of experience on what to replace and why to replace it. We just build the whole station. And that's what it's all about. My my whole point being we need to stop the bickering. We need to stop worrying what the next man your neighbor's running. And let's just be, 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 you know, have fellowship, man. You know, if you can't, I mean, no big deal, man. We would just live to fight another day. And, uh, and I hope this platform that we got here, the show, that you guys can see the trueness of it, that what we're trying to bring is camaraderie and love back to the hobby. We don't want to bring any hate and discontent. We're trying to bring a little competitiveness, a little bit of love, a little bit of camaraderie, and I hope everybody gets a little bit fired up and bring the Super Bowl to back where it was. Right now, we're showing Hawaii and what the fellowship is all about. And hopefully, you know, Postmaster go to some other breaks or some other guys go to different breaks, and we're able to, to, to show the guys that are not able to afford to go to break and give them a glimpse of what the camaraderie and all the fellowship is about so they want to get that love, so they want to stay in the hobby, so they want to teach the younger generation. That's what it's all about. So I hope you guys, the listeners, understand what we're trying to do is just, just lift the Super Bowl up, lift Channel 6 up, lift the hobby up. We're not trying to tear anything down. We're trying to uplift it. Well, this is there's a lot of hate that there in this game, and this game brings a lot of it brings the, the competitive level, just like the competition in the northeast corner. Okay, it's it's there. It's the egos are there. This is an ego driven deal. It's 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 about who's got the big box, who's got the big bean, who who who's got the big pecker. You know, everybody ain't got a big pecker. You just got to fit in where you get in, and there's already enough hate in other platforms okay yeah you have you have pow talk and you have all these other platforms you know some rooms are great some rooms are just a shit show some rooms are great for tech talk some rooms are great for rat killing so when we started this platform a lot of people know me from pow talk and they say hey jimmy are you gonna bring that bullshit rat killing bullshit to the podcast and it never was my intentions to bring the rat killing shit to the podcast because of what you just said and how you laid it out right there. This, I wanted to be different. I wanted to lead by example. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to be sitting up on this podcast selling wolf tickets and then not trying to live up by them. Rat killing's rat killing. Just like if we get up, we, we have a family. We do, we do family things. We go to work. Most people know how to separate their family life from their work life. Most people don't take their family life into their work life. You know what I mean? So yeah. I try to separate pow talk, family life, work life, podcast life, you know, and just keep it, keep it like that right there. But I do want to see the bowl. The bowl is, is excellent. And, and, and what attracts me to the bowl every day I wake up is the game the egos, the excitement, the, com the, 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 the confidence 
that these guys wake up their selves and they come to this game every day that we play on this on this bowl. That that's what I like. I just deal with all the animosity, the rat mm. killing and all that shit, but it can go in one ear and out the other, you know what I'm saying? But mm. is it getting old? Yeah, it's 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 getting old. It's 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 gotten old. And I think a lot of the older guys, the older heads, I think they're sick of it too. Yeah. But, you know, Nobody knows how to stop it. Everybody's talking on the back burners about, hey, what's going on with this? Hey, what's popping with that? Why is it getting to this? Why is it? But nobody, there's a lot of, there's a, there's a lot of talk about it, but nobody wants to come up with a solution of how to fix it. So the only thing that I can do is be positive and try to do a piece at a time of try to somewhat smooth things over and, and, and show people if I'm not doing that shit, then maybe you shouldn't do that shit. You know what I mean? Maybe there's a different route we can take. We don't have to be at each other's throat over a damn stick. Maybe we don't have to cut each other down. Let's get back to lifting each other up before we pull each other down. But now it's to the point now with a lot of guys, man, they'd soon just chop you up and cut you down before they even try to stick their hand out to help you. Absolutely. You know? so, Absolutely. And you know, when, when we, we've been talking, this is not a new, platform per se you know I, I like i said i did a a buffalo bills podcast for about four years so i do got a little experience you know uh, uh in terms of podcasting and I, I talked to jimmy about doing uh something cb related and uh I, i'm the one that kind of held back you know because i knew um you can't make hap everybody happy in the cb world no matter what you do no matter what you say we try to plan it out accordingly to, to try to make everybody happy but unfortunately you can't Everything is being uh, 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 micromanaged in terms of everybody's nitpicking on this and that, and that's never what that never was our intention. So I hope you guys that are listening and know we doing it, we're doing it with a pure heart. We're trying to bring the bowl back, trying to have some fun with it. But like I said, there's always going to be people that you know that that dislike what we do. There's people talking about us. There's people hell. There's people doing what we're doing right now. I mean, it ain't nothing but a big no, no big deal. It, it, it is. Everybody could do what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? We just, uh, the way I told you in the previous shows, man, the table's big enough. Everybody could eat, man. Everybody could have fun. Every, as, long as, as long as we're lifting up the hobby, I have no problem with it. If we're tearing down the hobby, I got a problem with it. So I hope you guys understand the intentions we have with this platform, that we want to get everybody involved. And, you know, right now we're starting with the Super Bowl guys, Channel 6, the big guys. But we're eventually going to break down and we're going to get the guys from Channel 11, guys from 28. It's going to be a whole CB-related thing. We have big plans to get in a different cha a whole CB channel to where everybody's going to have a platform in terms of Channel 28, Channel 11, Channel 15. And everybody's going to get an opportunity. But this is this is something that's growing. We've only been doing this for eight weeks, Jimmy. And uh, it's growing so fast that we, we're not able to keep up with it. And, you know, if we make a little mistake here and there, I mean, don't crucify us. for We're just trying to do the best we can. So with that being said, man, we love y'all. We, we hope you enjoy what we're trying to, you know, the product we're trying to bring out and uh, trying to keep the hobby alive. Man, you know what? You're the better one. And, 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 and I know that. And you're somebody that keeps me on track. And when me and you went into this, we said, you know, you're going to look out for me and you're going to keep me out of harm's way because you're like the bigger brother in the picture. But, you know, I'm going to tell you, I ain't apologizing for shit. And I ain't going to allow you to apologize for shit because we ain't got no reason to apologize for shit. We're doing what we're doing. We got the competition out there and the competition's going good. And it's 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 going to run. We're going to see our way through these twelve months. We're going to crown, or we're going to crown twelve regions uh, a winner. We're gonna we're gonna crown a world boss out of this. Big things. Stay tuned. If your if your heart's solid enough and your mind game is com, uh, uh, compatible enough to stay in it, then then you got a chance and you got a you got a you got a, a will and a way to make it through it. If you don't, the week will fall to the wayside. It, it's it's pretty much you'll fire yourself kind of kind of deal. Uh, the the show is for you guys. We're gonna run the show with five people in here. We're gonna run the show with five hundred in here. Uh, nobody's gonna dictate the show, uh, you know. And it's it's just it's it's just laid out, you know. So I don't I don't really fall too far into that, you know. I mean, it just is what it is. But you know, we're realists. You know, we're the type of dudes that. 
you know, things, things, you wear your heart on your sleeve, kind of like that, that saying, you know, and when somebody throws a jab at you, you know, things affect you. Things, you got to get to the point, man, to where things doesn't bother you. It's just going to run the way it's going to run. It's going to go the way it's been laid out, and that's how it's going to go. You get, people aren't going to never be satisfied, especially when you do things on social media. This is not a closed loop shoebox circuit. So it's not just 10 people in there and you're trying to satisfy 10 people. It's a, it's a complete social media site. It's a complete social media competitive uh, competition that's going on among us out there. And if, if you want it, you get it. If you don't want it, sit down, take a back seat, relax, save your vocal cords, save your energy, because pretty much most of all your negative comments and stuff is just going to go in my ear and go right out the other. And I'm not going to pay it too much of attention probably to be honest, but uh, it's, it's, it's all laid out for the game, for the goodness of the game. But I would like to see, you know, we had Crack on the show. Crack brought a, if, if people can really get deep and understand a lot of stuff that what Crack Carter was talking about and, 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 and what some of these older guys, you know, how they feel and what they see and what they've witnessed, you know, I mean, straight up things are just fucked up. Things are just, things are out of control. A lot of these guys, they, they look back and they go back in time and they're like, man, but back in the 70s, it wasn't like this, but this is 2023. I had a guy call me today and ask me, he says, hey, man, how come you're not talking about where the Super Bowl originated from? This is a relevant, we, we run relevant, we're running week to week. You can't keep hammering away and preaching away at what, what past was. Past was, there's a lot of guys out there trying to build their fame and get fame. You know, if they want to go cover something, let them go cover something. Like you said, there's a lot of there's a, there's a big table. There's a lot of things that a lot of people can take off with and do their own thing. It's just you know, uh, jump and do it. Steve Harvey, when I met him face to face, I was sitting backstage with him when I was on his show, and and one of the greatest things that a guy on his platform told me, uh, he told me he said, listen. He said, it don't matter if you got $5 in your pocket or you got $5,000 in your pocket. If you can think of something that you're willing to put in the work and you can see where you're wanting to go as far as your goal is, don't let nobody stop you. Get to it. And I'm here to tell you, live and in living color on this show, I have a goal. We have a goal. And we're going to see the goal out. Is it going to be easy? I can't promise you that it's going to be easy. Are we going to go through bullshit? I'm almost certain we're going to go through bullshit. Is the bullshit going to affect me? Not me. I can guarantee you it's not going to affect me. And I see the other side. So when we when we crown that world boss, my goal will be complete. You understand what I'm saying? So it's just sit back, buckle up, knuckle up, put your brass knuckles on, <laughs> tighten up with your technicians, and uh, get your money right, because this is a money game. Get your money right. Make sure your tech stop by. If you ain't got no friend base with your technician, fire that one and go hire you a new one. There's plenty of techs out there. And, and, and tighten your game up, and let's do the damn That's thing. right. Maybe maybe now is an opportunity to get all your friends together and have a antenna barbecue party like back in the day. <laughs> yeah, barbecue. Barbecue. You know? let's, check up, let's check up on, uh, on Postmaster real quick, see where we at. I see him over there. Let me, let me pull him up. I thought I was sitting here talking to the counselor team. (laughs) Where we're at there, boys. Um, Everyone's just in their own little groups, enjoying the company, enjoying the love. And it's almost like, whoa, brah, you want me to walk all the way over there to wave? (laughs) It's all good, man. It's all good. If they can't do it, it's no big deal. So I I think maybe, you know, we wrap it up. That's cool. That That way I can pack all my shit up and... It's I'll all go good. And join them and uh, actually, you know, my sponsor while I'm here has not been in use yet. Oh, oh yeah, it's time for you to get the use then, yeah, gentlemen, yeah, Jack. Yeah, like, like I got him, and I got Quavo. There you go, uh, Jose Jose so, Cuervo. That's right. That's my shit right there. I like that. So I'm kind of, you know, like keeping myself sober, but we're gonna wrap it up, I reckon. 
Yeah. Yeah. If yeah, so I was I, sitting there with so, you and, and I had some of that right there, I tell you really how I felt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit yeah. right there, tell, it, it, I tell you, I guarantee if I That'll bring the truth out of you. Really how I feel. Oh, yeah. That, that'll and, bring the truth out. haters could really say, Jimmy <laughs> sitting up there talking cash shit. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Somebody, somebody asked why he can't walk around. The reason why he can't walk around because he's got his laptop right there and every, all his equipment's right there. But we did get a couple good view uh, interviews, uh, uh, man. More than I expected. So I'm, 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 I'm thankful. I'm thankful for what you've done. All right, now, now, just quickly. So obviously, the person that asked why can't I walk around? Well, I've got cameras that are hardwired around the place. Yeah. All right. So and, and ideally, I had them centered on the band. All right. Um, the band has been constantly evolving, non-stop. Like, you know, different guys are playing music, different different guys are jumping on doing instruments. So, and then we've got one last camera, which is in my possession, which uh, it'll zoom, it'll focus, so I can try and get a glimpse of all the people. So you can back. see all the people. That's a the lot background. of people. Yeah, wow. That's all amazing. Right. That's so, great. They're not all just in here, and all the food's up that end. Wow. You know, that whole back wall is food. Yeah. That whole middle table is food. Wow. You know, then I come around here, and there's a few more over this way. Oh, God. So That's awesome. Yeah, so to the person that was wondering, well, why don't I walk around? Well, all it's right, kind of yeah, hard. So I'm on a laptop. I'm on a uh, podcasting console. I'm hardwired in. Headphones, microphone. That's a, you did a great job, man. We got it. We got more than enough than we we expected. So I'm 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 satisfied with what you did, man. You did a great job. Got a whole bunch of superstars from Hawaii and the mainland that came on. So yep. that that that's awesome, brother. We appreciate you. Any any shout outs you want to do? The mic's all yours. Shout out to the people that organized this event, man. The Garage Crew. A few of them, like number five, all right? You've all heard Showtime number five. He's he's basically been sitting in one position the whole time. And unfortunately, he's way over there. But him and his Mrs. Ruby, uh, you know, it's not just the guys, it's the wives. They all pull together to make this happen. Yes? Yeah. So... Yeah. Excellent job, my man. Come on, dance with me. <laughs> oh, well, hey, well, go on and dance, man. Mr. Postmaster, we appreciate you, brother. Much love to you, man. That's the boots on the ground from down under. Uh, it's a, just a, a great brother and a great friend, and I uh, appreciate what you did for the hobby. appreciate you do what you do for the show. Appreciate you. And, and just, just remember, 1-800, help Postmaster get to the Bayou. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we'll talk about that after the show. I might put up, I might put up a GoFundMe to get you over there. <laughs> oh, well, man, if you can get ten cents, I'll put a dollar. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> ten cents, ten cents, ten dollar. That sounds like a trucking deal. Before there I you go. Time. So there you go. There you guys have it, man. Mr. Postmaster, the boots from down under, representing uh, uh, the the Big Hammer show over there in uh, in, in Hawaii. And uh, man, thank you very, very much. And uh, give a shout out to the to the break again. What's the name of the bro the place in the break for next year? La, 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 well, not sure if it's going to be here again next year, but if it is, it's La Bahoy Hoy. Okay, it's uh, La Bahoy Hoy po Point Park. Okay, in uh, in uh, the Big Island. Second annual break right there, current right now. Current one is second annual rag. The third one may be here again, but I, I, I'm hearing a rumor that it's going to be on Oahu. If not, it might be Kauai. Well, kickback, man, you've worked hard enough. It's time to enjoy yourself before you jump up out of there, man. Yes, All sir, the man. Appreciate you. We appreciate you. Salute you, bro. And, uh, yeah. Hats off to you. Job well done. Job well done. Job well done. Yeah, man. Thanks, everybody. We enjoyed the podcast. Roots on the ground. Thank you. That's your host right there. Host man. I'll give it up for him. Like the show. Share the show. That man yeah, put a man. lot of time. He put a lot of effort. And he, yeah, uh, man. He went a long ways to make that happen. So yeah, man. And for you guys that that you know, I've been talking years to down there to to, to down under and uh, just to put the face to the voice. That that's what excites me, man. To get to talk to somebody for such a long time, 
And then you're finally able to put the, hey, man, that's the dude I talked to on the radio, you know. That dude's 10 8. This guy, yeah, I talked to him. I remember, you know, like Hippopotamus. I got a picture of Hippopotamus when he was a, like, a kid when I used to talk to him. And, and I asked Postmaster, who's this guy? He said, oh, that's Hippopotamus. I had got it like in the late 90s and something. I don't remember who he was. But he had, he had taken the time to send me a picture of him in his station. And now I got the face with the voice, you know what I'm saying? And, and I know hopefully you guys get a little feel for that um, uh, on seeing the guys that came out like 1600 Thunderlips. Like, you know, like a lot of guys that haven't really seen BBI or, 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 or uh, Doc Adams or those legends like that, you, man. You know, I really wish Doc's, I wish the mic would have. would have. I would have loved to adjusted. interview him. We got to get him back yep. on for sure. Yep, Doc. Well, you know, Doc. Doc is a legend, man, and Doc has been around a real long time. And Doc, Doc brings a lot to the, to the game. And just to see Doc, you know, making his way back, he's already he's already bumped several times. I'm 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 pretty sure, you know, I don't I feel confident in saying that. Uh, but Doc is Doc is a uh, uh, Doc is a legend, man. Doc Doc is is mm. somebody truly that that we can learn something from and and would bring something to the to the show, you know, with, with, uh, knowledge and, and just his history and, and what he's been through and what he's witnessed. So absolutely. Absolutely, so, Ben. That's uh, a wrap for me. It's a wrap. It's a wrap, man. We, uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. We had just a little, it was a, it was spur of the moment thing. You know, yesterday postmaster didn't have any internet to be able to stream, uh, the break. Uh, but, uh, fortunately he was able to give us just a little glimpse uh, you know, everybody's running around. We try to get as many people as we could, but you know how it is when you're at a break, man. Uh, there's so many things going on. The last thing you want to do is get in front of a PC. Everybody wants to fellowship. So I'm just thankful we got to see who we got to see, talk to who we got to talk to, and hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed it. And uh, this, like I said, is a spur of the moment thing, but we will be back on next Friday night, 8 p.m. Uh, we're going to have uh, two other guests, uh, great guests. And we're going to have the results from the Northeast Corner. So, y'all stay tuned. 8 p.m. One, one, Friday one, night. You're looking, at, you're looking at the week ahead. One other guest. We got Prime Minister. That's right. Going to be up in here on the house with us Friday. You're thinking of the two coming in the, <laughs> oh, the man. week ahead of that. Jimmy, uh, it's it's the 9.9, bro. I'm, I'm glad you corrected me. Look, look, I ain't lying to you. Hey, I get smarter the more I drink. <laughs> I get stupid with the 9.9. I get, I get smarter. Police pull you over to say, how much but, have you had to drink tonight, but, sir? Not enough. <laughs> but that's why I got you, bro. That's why we got each other's back. You know what I mean? You catch me when I fall, and I catch you when we fall. So that's what that's what makes the, the, the show kind of work. Um, but Y'all check it out. If y'all got some free time, it's Saturday. Or, yeah, it is Saturday. It's Saturday night. And uh, go slide over here to Prime's room. Uh, Minister Super Bowl bosses, see what's popping off in his room. I tell you something, man. The 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 great thing, you're hearing it from me. The 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 great thing about Prime's room on Pow Talk. There's a lot of rooms on Pow Talk, but the the excellent thing about Prime's room on Pow Talk is that there's guys that come in and out of that room. There's about three to four guys. You know, I I know there's a lot of guys, and I see you guys in here. I see you guys on Facebook. You guys ask questions, and you depend on, you know, people that that just keep bringing bullshit to the table, you know, about how you work on this, how you fix this kind of shit. There's there's a group of guys running in Prime's Prime's room, man, in his pal talk room. Them guys will help you. If you come to them guys, if you come to that forum and you come to that, 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 that page, and you ask a legit question, not a bullshit question, a lot of them dudes will help you in there. Uh, they'll get you right, you know. They'll, they'll, they'll keep you. Them guys, them guys share enough knowledge in that room that will keep you six feet under, that will keep you from being six feet under. That's because right. like I said on one of the shows, when I first got into a game, I had a 300 Mako, and that Mako quit working. Well, it still had a charge. I took the I took the lid off of it, and by me being in Prime Minister's room and just hearing people talk about high voltage and what not to pick up and what to do and how to short something out, I tell you right now, I told my wife, I said, "Go get me one of them screwdrivers." I know a screwdriver ain't the safest thing, but at that time, that many years ago, I had heard just a little bit enough in Prime's room that that screwdriver saved my life because I was about to take my whole hand and, and wiggle the top of those tubes. And I would have been a I would have been a goner. I would have been out of here. 
but I had her go get that screwdriver and I stuck that screwdriver straight to the top and I arced it back out on the chassis and bam. And she looked at me and she said, what the hell was that? And I said, death. I said, death. Cause that's exactly what it was. Death. Yeah. So I promote prime's room and I uplift that room because I know what that room has did for me. All the rooms have drama in it. All the rooms have rat killing in it. But if you really want to get something out of the game and you have some technical issues and you're trying to do your own work to save yourself some money, don't be a dumbass and kill yourself over being just dumb. Don't be scared to say, hey, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Let me go somewhere and ask somebody. And it ain't going to cost you shit because you can come into that room with a black nick uh, uh, and go in there and you can ask anybody or any one of those 10-8 guys, hey, man, I got a problem with this and I need help with it. Can you guys straighten me out? Because I tell you, once you go deaf, you don't come back. Y'all take care. God bless you. Much love around the table. 413, we'll talk a little bit later up. Jimmy's 107 side Yes, sir. Up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate y'all coming on, man. And we'll see you Friday, 8 p.m., y'all.